Well, and having a good weekend so far, today we're going to be playing The Elder Scrolls Online 2023. Been almost a year since I last played, but every time they do their like Elder Scrolls Online showcase, showing you what's coming next year, it reels me back in. And I'm like, okay, I've not finished off the, the DLC, the latest DLC that came out for The Elder Scrolls Online, which is Fire Song. So this is the storyline we're going to be starting today. Usually these things are about six hours long. It takes me just doing the main story. So we're obviously not going to finish it today. Or I don't know, maybe we will. Maybe this will be a stream to end all streams. And we'll just do the whole thing in one sitting. Who knows? But the Isle of Galen is currently threatened by sea elf raiders and jurid unrest. Those tree huggers... The Society of the Steadfast seeks to seeks adventurers to help House Menard defeat, defend Galen. Well, I'm pretty sure the Jurids occupy this island now. So, it's almost like we're invading them, to be honest. So, report to Lord Baracko Valeris in the city. If you possess courage equal to the task, my friend, I have plenty of courage. They do have a volcano and their Jurids, so I suppose something's going to happen with that. Oh my god, Joey, Dan, thank you so much for being members for so long. 18 months and 40 months, you were your true battle brothers. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate the support. But before we start, I actually want to watch the trailer for this DLC. Because Bethesda did a really cool trailer. And it's probably like one of the coolest trailers they've done, actually. So, I'm going to put this on the main screen. Here we go. Boom. Let's watch this before we begin. Invaders, destroyers, bringers of ruin. It looks good. They came to our isles, took our homes. Now the time of the prophecy draws near. Today, Fire Song Circle takes back what is ours. Long ago, Druid King Kasserain led us across the sea to these lands. Kasserain foretold the rise of the Druids. Words of promise and warning, ignored by our Breton king. But the fire song remember. Yeah, this is epic. The Druid King's dream lives on in me. Finish what was begun. I will make the ancient words come true. And soon, these sacred islands will bow before a new druid king. Bro, that looks sick. I think that's the new trial. Dude, that's like the coolest trailer they've had for for a while, I think. What do you guys think? Let me let me quickly uh, turn down my mic a bit here. Boop. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's get this up. Hopefully, it's this epic. For sure. I'm sure it will be. I've not played it yet. So, we've got to start the quest. Let's go to Collection Story. Accept Quest. And now, we'll go to our journal. So, the Sea Elf Pirates are invading as well. Where is this? Okay, so this is on... Ooh! Ah! So, this is actually all the way over there in the distance where that volcano is. So, it's kind of like on the north over here. Ah, so we're going to fast travel over here. Do you know what? I'm a cheap person, so I'm going to go to the local way shrine and use that to fast travel. Look at this guy over here. He's currently chopping a spriggan with an axe. Oh, it's woken up. 
some of the weird stuff that the devs put in this game is actually pretty well, jokes. Glory. If you do pay attention to the details. Okay, I need to go over here. There we go. Oh, I'm in combat, great. It's not very helpful. I'm not going to have to go and kill them. She had to run all the way over here to hit me once, and so now I can fast travel. Thank you. There we go. Let's go. The sea elf race. Dude, if they add, like, Zos or Bethesda obviously own the IP for Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls. Zos are the company that owns Bethesda and make the Elder Scrolls online. A lot of people seem to be confused about that. But I 100% agree. They could so easily add a new race being with snow elves. What kind of race passives do you think they would have? Because snow elves are really cool. And obviously they existed in the lore um, back when the Elder Scrolls Online is based. They're kind of like almost extinct in Skyrim, essentially. Like you literally meet the last snow elf. Or what, it, what you're led to believe is the last snow elf. Okay, so we've got to go in the city, which is right here. It's built into the rocks by the looks of it. I just finished last story, last year's story a month ago. Really excited for this year's. Yeah, me too. And they've brought back Wes Johnson for Homerus Mora's voice acting, which I'm really happy about. Really like Wes. He's such a nice guy. And he did Homerus Mora in Skyrim. And he also did Shea Gorath in, in The Elder Scrolls Skyrim and Oblivion as well in the Shivering Isles DLC. But they didn't have him do Shea Gorath in The Elder Scrolls Online. And he was a bit upset about that. And so was I. So I'm glad that they've brought him back to do Homerus Mora because ESO Shergarath isn't as good as West Johnson Shergarath, in my opinion. These sea elf pirates become more brazen every day. When is House Mornar going to do something? You know, Assassin. House Dufort never has these problems on High Isle. That's not entirely true. There are those incidents with the Ascendant Order. Oh, he's outside the sea. Okay. I've gone the wrong way. Let's go back. Oh no, one sec, we can go through the city. This year's story is going to be amazing. I love Mori. He's my favorite Daedric Prince and a new class as well. Yeah. I was wondering, do you think I should start like a stream when it comes out and try out the new class? Or do you think I should uh, Your people just are in as much danger as everyone else play with a high level character? Elves make no distinctions when it comes to Dude, this place is built Why into a cave. It's pretty cool. The stone work can fend for themselves. Must have taken a while for them to build it. Yes, that was very cool. Check out the pub. I will always check out the pub. Do not fear. So apparently he's around here. Lord Baracko. This guy is very suspicious, in my opinion. I don't trust the him. The Steadfast are here to aid those harmed by the sea elf attacks. I have no knights to lend you, Count Bornard, Sir Stefan. We'll have to handle the sea elves ourselves, then. I don't know what's keeping the druids. You place too much trust in those ivy-robed beggars, Stefan. Yes, yeah, Stefan. Well, if it isn't Lady Arabelle's talented assistant, I might have guessed that Galen's troubles would draw you here. What can I do for you, my friend? He just seems so suspicious to me. I received a request for help from the Society of the Steadfast. Ah, very good. Look about you, friend. As you can see, the troubles on Galen cause no end of suffering. And many of the victims are simple farmers and townsfolk, not soldiers. Damn those sea elf pirates. So this is all because of the sea elves that the druids were attacking as well? For the most part. There have been some incidents among the druid circles too, but the sea elves are definitely the biggest threat. Talk to Sir Stefan Mornar. I'm sure he can find a use for someone with your obvious talents. Uh, okay, this guy really sucks up to me for some reason. Uh, young Sir Stefan is over there with his father, Count Mornard. They will readily accept any assistance you're willing to offer. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, the Society of the Steadfast's work is never done. What are you even doing here, anyway? The Mornards are neighbors, so to speak. Count Leonard sent word to me about Galen's troubles with the Sea Elves. I have many responsibilities on High Isle, but still, I had to help an old friend. What about the peace talks on High Isle? I am trying to be in two places at the same time as best I can. It involves frequent voyages from Vastir to Gonfalon Bay. 
Fortunately, I can trust Lady Arabel to look after the Alliance leaders when I must be absent. I don't trust this guy. Before we talk to this guy, let me move my face a bit because I'm like slightly in the way of the dialogue, which is disgraceful. Uh, uh, there we go. And you, sir? Sir Stefan? Well met, adventurer. If you're looking for work, I need all the help I can get. Sea Elf raids are nothing new on Galen, but never have they attacked in such numbers. The whole southeast shore is under siege. It sounds pretty organized to me. Are you playing EU or NA? I'm playing North Me uh, no, uh, European, sorry. I live in the UK, so the the ping is already bad enough. I rather stick to at least my own country. Though pretty much most cool people I think are on North America servers that I know of. What do the sea elves want? I'm not sure. Most sea elves are pirates. Easy plunder is what they're usually after. But the dread sails are more determined than any Maurimar I've seen before. Whatever their goal, we must push them back. Yeah, we'll talk about that card game later, actually. I'm a bit confused about it, too. What do you need me to do, my friend? Hand me your map. I've received reports of dread sails near Windrack Fort, the village okay, of Preston and Suncleft Cove. I need you to investigate these sightings and chase off any sea elves you find. Let what them are you going to be doing? Won't go down without a fight. He, so you've just sent me off to do your job for you. Okay. Are you ready for fight? Not as ready as I would like, friend. We don't have enough knights to protect the whole island, but I need information even more than I need soldiers. Find out what the Dread Sails really want, if you can. And where they oh. plan to strike next. I'll head out at once. All three locations I need you to investigate lie to the east. Chase away any sea elves you find at the fort and the village, and see if you can figure out what they're up to at the cove. Report back to me in Vastir when you're done. Look at those yellow trousers. Hideous. No fashion sense, All my three friend. locations I need you to investigate. What was that about the use. Druids? Galen may claim to be a Breton holding, but the Druids have lived here for centuries. Some of them don't like city folk, but they certainly defend the coast from pirates. Especially the Elder Tide Circle. It's not like them to avoid a fight. The Elder Tide Circle? One of the three circles of Druids in the archipelago. The Elder Tide live by the coast and dislike outsiders. The Fire Song are recluses, keeping to old places of power. Then there's the Stone Lore. I studied with them when I was young. You studied with the Druids? He's a traitor. With the Druids and with a knightly order. I suppose you could say I had a well-rounded sister's education. If you're interested, I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, I need you to check out those locations. I <laughs> can just be like, who are you again? <laughs> Do you know who I am? Hit him with the who are you after he's had a whole conversation with you. Uh, okay, let's go here first. Down the coast. He's like, I just need you to do my job for me so you could uh, leave me alone. I'll tell you who I am later. Six for eight, including the hair. And six, five. I don't know what I am, including my hair. It must add like a, an inch or two on there. There's some cool music in this place. Hey, Seven Fangs, how's it going, dude? I have just started this stream, yes, indeed. Me and Seven Fangs should be playing uh, Bethesda's new uh, game called Redfall, which comes out, I think, on the second. Probably be live streaming. I don't know how interested you guys in that because it's like an FPS vampire game, but it's made by Arcane Studios, um, which Bethesda owns. And it looks really cool. Hello there, sir. I don't know where you came from, mate, but I'm glad to see you. The cursed sea elves chased our soldiers out of this fort. Don't see any druids around to help out. Must be busy with their own quarrels. So it's up to us to take this fort back. I'm not buying your pirate impressions, sir. Sir Stefan sent me. What do you have in mind? I spotted more sea elf warships brimming with reinforcements. Luckily, the fort's ballistas are intact. Get to the ballistas and stop those ships. That will give us time to deal with the enemies who already made it to shore. <laughs> Literally, what will you be doing while I do everything? I'll see if I can rally the knights and get the wounded back on their feet. We'll need them to hold the fort once you stop the reinforcements from reaching the shore. Meet me on the bluffs north of the fort when you're done. Alright, I'll use the ballistas to drive off the CF ships. That sounds fun, to be fair. Take a right when you get into the fort. There's a path that leads down to the docks. You'll find the ballistas there. 
My guess is the Dreadsail ships will flee at the first sign of resistance. They won't risk their ships to ballista strikes. What about the Druid Quarrels? That sounds interesting. The Druids of the Sisters Archipelago are divided into three circles. Oh, we know about this. The Stone Lore, the Elder Tide, and the Fire Song. Usually they get along. Well, he's just repeating what we already know from last time. Usually they get along, but the Druids are currently at war with one another. I wonder why. That must be an uprising. uprising. So where are these ballistas? Aha. Can I hop down here or not? Doesn't seem so. <laughs> Looks like I can get through there though. ESO stream on Twitch. No, I, I do have a Twitch. I just like rarely actually use it. Wait, are we just... Okay, we've got to go down here. Right, fair enough. The bit rate is much better on Twitch, though. Look, that's my follower over there. His name's Bastion, and he's absolutely useless. We'll see if, uh, in this entire stream, if he does anything useful. I think he can be quite good once you level him up, but apparently he's not good. Sometimes he just comments on what I say, uh, what I'm doing, and, and that's about it. So we just have him really for, like, the Lydia meme value right now. Hello there. Are you protecting the ballistas? You're doing a terrible job. Ah, yes, it's aimed perfectly at your ship. I missed. Oh, no, I hit it. Nice. That was a good shot. Oh my god, it's just yeeting out of it. Look how quick it moves. Mate, I've never seen a ship go from, like, standing still to moving that fast so quickly. Holy moly. That was crazy. No remorse. Die. Bastion leveled up. Let's go, boys. He's becoming more useful. He's really just a slight diversion at the moment. If that. Oh my god, there's carrots. Tomatoes, cabbages, and seasoning sack. Mate, let's go. Okay, this is the final ballista, it would appear. Direct son. Oh, Bastion actually killed someone. Well done, mate. Let's fire this ballista. Watch this just accelerate to 1,000 miles per hour. Oh, look, some dude jumped off it. That was cool. Where is it even going, anyway? Do you know Bastion? Do you want me to fire you into the ballista? He looks concerned. Am I on an, an enemy ship right now or not? It's part of the docks by the looks of it. This is the last ballista. There's no one guarding it, which is great. We can just fire away. Your ex, son. Easy. Mate, these ships are useless. Look at them. We've burned down three ships. I think I have a higher kill total than the entire High Isles army right now. That's got it. Oh, he said something. There you go. Two arms. Go on, Bastion. Get him. Get him. Get him, Bastion. Get him. Okay, he just seemed to have fall dead of a heart attack there. Okay, I'm going to meet them over here to the north. Down the coastline, wherever he is. He's hiding. Nice work, mate. Your aim was impeccable. Well done. These dread sails may be fierce, but they lack loyalty. Even though they've got numbers on their side, they won't stick their necks out for their mates. That's something we can use against them. Well, to be fair, I mean, their, their ships were literally on fire. I would also flee the scene. Or just, they would all have been dead. Anything more you need from me here? You've done your part. We can deal with the stragglers around Winrack Fort. 
now that they've got no reinforcements coming to support them. Your work's just beginning, though, mate. I fear the seas ahead will be rough for all of us. Well, mate, I'm doing all the work, so pretty sure they're going to be the roughest seas for me. That should come in handy. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome to hear, dude. They're, yeah, they're motorized ships, um, steam-powered. I mean, they could be Dwemer ships for all we know. You know those snow elves, they're very sneaky. We thought they were extinct for the longest time. There is like a kind of like a new dolmen over there that we could do if it is active, but currently it looks like it's not. Someone here waiting for it, though. So I was thinking as well, guys, um, we're obviously doing like the story episode today, but I might also do some like some of the new veteran dungeons if you guys are interested in watching some of the late game content as well. I've got a character pretty much set up for that too. Light, what a slaughter. Mate, I thought you were the enemy. You're dressed, you're dressed the same way. Light, take it. I came to help the Elder Tide Druids defend their village, but I was too late. This battle is already lost. You're not <laughs> so an you won't help. And you're certainly not a sea elf. What are you doing here, stranger? Sir Stefan Monard sent me. He was concerned about the Druids. Uh, never answering his call. Sir Stefan's a dear friend of mine and practically a Druid himself. We studied together under Archdruid Raval when we were younger. It's not unlike him to worry about the Druids. Even the Elder Tide. What happened here? The Dread Sails happened, but it makes no sense. The Elder Tide have no riches. Druids don't care about such things. And they command formidable magic. What pirate attacks a target that can fight back for no obvious profit? Well, there must be some kind of profit they stand to gain. Sir Stefan said the Druids were usually determined. That's strange. It makes me wonder what the Sea Elves really hope to gain by these attacks. They're clearly working Let's for someone. Let's look around. Watch for anything that looks interesting or out of place. With any luck, we can figure out why the Sea Elves attacked Tuin. That is, that is the first lady with a plan. There you go. Find out why they're attacking. Thank you. Should be what we were doing the whole time. Attack! Lol? What happened to her? It's over with, I suppose. She just literally, like, fell over for no reason. Oh, let's, let me assass. Everyone sneak, everyone sneak. Let's go. Absolutely delete this lady. Oh my god, it's a man. <laughs> Just brutally stab him in the back. Bastion's like, yeah, taste our steel. The candles are still burning. The Elder Tide Druids who tend this altar have not been gone for long. I just drank that bloody liquid, whatever it was. She must be pretty sus about me now. It's like, oh, a blood sacrifice. <laughs> I'll have some of that. <laughs> what do you think you'll make with that? Druid scapegoats. That's interesting. Oh, actually, you know, Elder Scrolls Online, uh, for what it's worth, one of my favorite things about this game is just the lore and the story. Uh, the lore is so well done. It's expanded, I think, on Elder Scrolls lore more than any other individual game. That's saying a lot, I think. But I think it's it's quite true, actually. And most of the time, it's in a good way. Yeah, I mean, right now, I think you can get, like, just the Elder Scrolls Online alone for, like, $10. And then if you subscribe to ESO+, Plus, which is, like, $8 a month, then you get access to all of the DLC. Um, how do I go to chapters? Chapters. So the only thing you don't get access to is la is this year's chapters. You don't get access to this, but you get access to all of the other DLCs, all the other dungeons, all the other chapter storylines. And like, I've not even done 90% of this content. <laughs> like, there's just so much stuff. So these are the orders. My dread sails. I promised you a haven, and now the path to our new home lies before us. I have struck a bargain with a powerful druid of Galen, so they're working with the sea elves. One who will help us secure a stronghold on the isle. In return, the request that we acquire a relic held by the rival circle, the Elder Tide, 
Raid the Isle east of the coast and search for this relic. It can't be found. If it can't be found, take captives for questioning. There must be a lawkeeper among the Elder Tide Druids who knows how to find it. He doesn't even know the name of it. it. It's just a relic. Do not fail me. For the price of a Druid relic, we will get a new home. A lawkeeper? What relic could they be searching for? Indeed. Why is this guy standing like this? Oh, I've got an obsidian mask collectible. What's that? Oh, that looks terrible. It's like a beak mask. Lol. <laughs> that is such a great animation. <laughs> Where is that from? Get deleted. I can't believe you trimmed the beard. Ah, well, it goes through various stages. I just want to make sure you're paying attention, truly. Burnt ember blossoms. I'll contemplate it for a while. I have no idea what it is, though. Ooh, a strong box. Let's take a look in the lodge. There might be something about the relic there. Well, at least you didn't steal it yourself. Get a wreck, son. So Bastion doesn't like it when I steal things, is that right? Oh, I got a lead. Nice. Oh, by the way, this is an add-on, this little purple thing here. It just adds, like, what you've collected and where it's located on the map. So when it respawns, you can just that run by it. Handy. I like how the they have a book on who are the sea elves, and they just happen to be slaughtering all the people here. Get yeah, Rex, son. Thank you. Oh, I thought she was going to give us information. We just saved her anyway, then. So apparently there's a Druid's Lodge back here. Let me out. Get wrecked some. In this building here we need to go. The Elder Tide Lodge. Will this game have microtransaction horsies? I mean, you can buy mounts in this game, but you Arch can also get them for free. What are you doing here? Confirming a suspicion, little Laurel. Archdruid Raval was right to call the Drafer together. Tell him the Fire Song will attend. The time has come to gather the seeds. The prophecy of the Druid King is at hand. The seeds? Is that what this... Oh, Blight. She's gone. Friend, we should talk. We're not friends. Was that the enemy then? Why could we not kill her? That would have been much more convenient. She was the lady from the trailer, so I'm pretty sure she's the evil one. Her voice acting was on point. That's how I recognized her. Root and rot! That was Archdruid Orlaith, leader of the Firesong Circle. I think I know what really happened here, and I don't like it at all. What do you mean, Lorel? The relic the Dreadsails sought is the sacred seed of the Elder Tide. A gift of the last Druid King. Each circle was granted one. That's what Archdruid Orlaith meant by gathering seeds. Could she be the druid mentioned in the Dreadsail's orders? Potentially, the relics could be the seeds. The sacred seed. You think the Dreadsails made a deal with the Fire Song? This isn't the first blood the Fire Song have spilled. A group tried to take the Stone Lore seed from a shrine on High Isle. Others attacked weirds on the mainland. Now signs of them here at Tuin? They've turned against the other circles. Why are these seeds so important? Are they powerful? Well, I guess if you bring them together, put them in the mountain, it, like something happens. Not as far as I know. The seeds are mentioned in the dream of Kasserain, the prophecy of the last Druid King. The Fire Song seemed to believe its time has come. The other circles, not so much. Perhaps the Dreyfa can make sense of all this. The Dreyfa, the other Druid circle? A council of Druids, oh. elders from all three circles. Okay. Archdruid Raval of the Stone Lore has summoned the Dreyfa to address grievances against the Fire Song. But up till now, Orlaith ignored him. Ha! Tell Stefan about this. Pirates aren't his only problem. Alright, I'll tell Stefan. Stefan, Stefan. How do you say it? One sounds much posher than the other. A stew! A venison steak, eh? Nice. 
I'll take that. Actually, there was a book there. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was just a glowing plate of food. My PC hates Unreal Editor. Really? Have you been editing? <laughs> Bra, you're doing this on purpose. You have 2,000 champion points, mate. You can help me out in the veteran dungeons, maybe. I like your armor set as well. Very cool. Big fan. Okay, there's actually a sky shard up here. My add-ons tell me exactly where they are because... Oh! Oh! It's so hidden. As you can see, my years of oblivion lockpicking have paid off. I love, like, I would say Elder Scrolls Online actually has got a knack for stumbling across those things. one of the best lockpicking systems in an Elder Scrolls game. Controversial opinion, probably, but I, I believe it actually is one of the best. I do like Skyrim's immersive lockpicking system because obviously in like real life you wouldn't be able to see like a section cut through, you know, a lock before you unlock it. But I do believe that just that Oblivion lockpicking system gives me the nostalgia as well, I guess, so it's pretty cool. What's this? A giant clam? A giant clam? How exciting. Okay, here we go. Here's the boys. A single sea elf bested a lot of you. She hit us like a storm of steel. Nice. Didn't kill anyone though. Just put us in the sand. Can you believe this? I came to check on my knights when I found them indisposed. House Mornard's finest. Pa. Embarrassing. Uh, who are you? I'm a car the sleek. Sir Stefan sent me to investigate the cove. Haven't we? Oh, wait. No, he literally looks like Stefan. I was like, haven't we already met, bro? <laughs> but no, he's a different guy. He looks very, very sad. Look at this pout. Wow. Can you tell me what happened here? This looks a bit embarrassing, bro. My knights tracked a band of dread sails to the cave here at Suncleft Cove. These As knights they suck. Tell it, however, <laughs> a single sea elf tore through them before they could search inside. Didn't even bother to kill them. Just knocked them senseless and left them here. Sir Stefan mentioned you, men, mentioned captives. Right. That was in my report. Since Sir Stefan sent you, I could use your help. Oh, Scout I'll do everything. Cave. We have to find the prisoners and free them. We? I'll follow once my knights recover. Just watch out. I, Remember, I'll just... We think that, I'm just... I'm gonna go rescue you or your friends. Jesus. Useless knights. Absolutely useless. They just look cool. They have crazy yellow trousers. That's why they never surprise anyone. The gameplay of what? Dodged? I probably mispronounced your name again, haven't I? We've been working together long enough for me to get it correct. But it has been a while. Ooh, coral. Very fancy. They're clones. <laughs> They're like clone stormtroopers. I seek. We simply need to extract it from her. I'll take a witness to the keep. Dispose of the rest as you wish, but do not tarry long. No, please. Don't hurt them. You only need me. Get wrecked. Let's go. I think they've detected us, Bastion. Do something. Alright, let's let's go inside and Hello there. What the hell is that? Did that just come out of his ass? Jesus. He was keeping that reef viper up his butt cheeks or something. I took him down and it just like slithered out from his cheeks. Is there um in the new DLC will there be a Daedric Zuzu motif available? What do you mean, Zuzu motif? Have I missed something? I haven't looked at the new motifs, but I've looked at the new armor sets, and they seem pretty damn powerful. Like, there's one that I think is going to make PvP Dragon Knight an absolute boss. My Dragon Knight is very much spent into being a tank. 
And he is one of the most ridiculous tanks in the game. A vampire tank, which heals himself and doesn't need a healer, even in veteran content. It's pretty good. Well, most veteran content. I tried out one of the new dungeons and uh, I couldn't outheal this one particular boss. On my own, that is. Oh, you mean Jedi Survivor, the new game? Yeah, like, uh, I watched Skill Up's review of that. He's very good for reviews if you're ever wondering about buying a new game. And he was saying that um, the performance was horrendous, but the game itself was pretty good. It's just such a pity, you know, when they just really forget to balance PCs. <laughs> they kind of just fix it later. Slack, you and your sea lord aren't fit to call yourselves Maramur. Stay your hand, stranger. The sea elf saved our lives. I told the fool knights outside I wasn't their enemy. Do you have more sense than them? Well, I just fired an arrow at you, you dirty self. Oh, that's a sick sword, though. What's this? What's that? Why is it so chrome? Where did you get that? My god, are you blind? You're willing to talk. At least you're smarter than those knights outside. I suppose Sea Lord Narlos and his scum have taught the people of this island to fear anyone with blue skin. It would Understand be... this. I don't answer to that foul beast. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> if you want, if you're not with the dead cells, who are you? It would be cool if they've included a blind character. Captain Siravain of the Gilded Blades. You'd call me a pirate, I suppose. But I'm not one of Sea Lord Nalos's traitors, and I'm not involved in all this druid foolishness. You look confused. Must be from the continent. Yes, I'm a Marmor. Sir Stefan Mornard sent me to find these captives. Well, they're not captives anymore, and you and I need not be enemies. Sea Lord Nalos is my quarry, for reasons of my own. But I'll tell you this much, mercenary. Nalos seeks some sort of druid relic. Calls it a sacred seed. Where did Sea Lord Nalos go? I'm not sure. That slimy eel escaped and he took one of the druids with him. Probably thinks she can take him to that seed. No matter. I'll find him. Warn your allies about the Sea Lord mercenary. Galen isn't safe while he lives. Hmm. I'll tell Sir Stefan what you said. Yes, I'm using Leech and Plate for my Dragon Knight, and also Winter's Respite, like a combination. And there's also a Mythic I want to get, but I haven't played the game in like a year, so I need to catch up. I'll tell Sir Stefan what you said then. Oh, Jesus Christ! The <laughs> Jump escaped. scared me. Oh, too bad. At least we can get these druids to safety. We'll handle things from here. Return to Vastir and report to Sir Stefan when you're ready. I, I know what to do. Please stop pretending like you, you, you're you going to tell me what to do. Look at you and your useless knights. This armor set looks sick though. I love it. And then who's this? Budget Dovakin? You're right, Dovakin. What's going on? He's got like the Blood Scowl blade and everything. You just been from Blood Scowl Barrow, my friend. He looks very old, like an ancient Dovakin. Okay, so we need to get out of this cave. Oh, we survived. Oh, there's an enemy. Get wrecked. Companion's arm. Oh, where's my companion? Oh, he's he's nowhere to. Oh no, there he is. Come here. Good. Is there something I can do? Uh, companion menu. I have something special for you. It is a. Uh, where is it? Uh, equipment. So this gives you more max health. That's really good. And also companion's necklace. There you go. Now you're starting to become an absolute unit of a character. Let's head out. Oh, dude. Gothic is so good. I'm so excited for the remaster. I played their, like, remaster demo. And <laughs> Bruh, are you going to do this on every dungeon? Look, man, I appreciate the um, the commitment. I really do. 
We've got to go back to the castle, but there's a way shrine over here, which we can head over to. By the way, I really want to do a trial. I've only ever done one trial before, but uh, I have no friends to do trials with. So if anyone wants to help me out with that, then we can we can have a sesh together. Especially the new trial for the uh, Necron chapter that's coming out. I really want that set for a, a build I want to make. All right, let's get into the Waste Shrine and go... Oh, no, actually, we'll go over here to the main city. Yeah, playing in first person, I'm glad they included it in this game. It's pretty cool. But you can't ride a horse in first person. These sea elf pirates become more brazen every day. I feel like those NPCs Your back there are going to be like... Uh, everyone else, Galfin. Sea elves make no distinction that lady who's like, race. I've been looking for I you everywhere. But the Stone Lord can fend for themselves. We always... Tell me how I can get over 60 FPS in Cyberpunk with RC480. You probably have to install some performance mods. Guide to Tamriel's castles. Oh, Wayrest Castle. Uh, Raven's Watch. Leowin. If I were forced to choose a favorite among the ancient editifs, edifice, if I'm so dyslexic, of Tamriel, Leowin Castle will be it. This beautiful imperial construction on the doorstep of Blackwood has everything you could want in a spectacular castle. I mean, that place just looks damp. Staunch circular towers, a soaring main hall, rambling side corridors that lead up to the main keep on the lands overlooking the town. Incredible. If you can find your way to this jewel in the lower Nibbin, you simply must do so. That's a pretty poor description of the castle, though. It has a lot more defensive sort of features than that. Ah, I mean, here's our mate now. Hello there. Our mate? Are we friends? Well met, friend. Duluth tells me you handled yourself well at Windrack Fort. Now, what news of the other two locations? Laurel seemed troubled when she returned, but she went to find Archdruid Raval before I could speak to her. Sir Stefan looks exactly like the other guy. The Dread Sails ransacked Tuni, Tuni, to Inith, and took captives, but I found them at the Sun Left, the Sun Cleft Cove. My God! A good thing I sent you to Tuin then. The Elder Tide rarely need or want our help, but I'm glad we could provide it. Still, why would the Dread Sails take prisoners to the Cove? When Sea Elves take captives, they usually sail off and demand ransom. Sea Lord Nalos is looking for the Elder Tide Sacred Seed. He's trying to find it in the Fire Song for the for, for a Fire Song Druid. He's trying to collect all three Dragon Balls to summon the volcano. I assume. I'm I'm pretty. If that's the story, <laughs> I I I. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully there's a bit more to it than that. But it just seems quite obvious because there's a big volcano. The Dread Sails are working with a Druid of the Fire Song Circle. The Firesong usually have nothing to do with outsiders, let alone sea elf pirates. And now I understand why Laurel seemed so worried, and why the Drefa has been summoned. Laurel told me the Firesong Druids tried to take the Stone Law Circle Seed too. So it's like a fight for the seed. What madness! A war among the Circles is the last thing Galen needs right now. I've been invited to observe the Drefa. I'd like you to tag along. Find Laurel in the Vine District here in the city. If she agrees, you can join us. The Vine District lies on the east side of the city near the harbor. It's a small druid conclave. I'll join you there shortly. Why would she I invite you anyway? With my... I may be the son of Count Mornard, but I studied for years with the Stone Lore Circle. I hold druid beliefs in high regard. In fact, I share many of them, which is unusual for those not dedicated to their ranks. In return, the druids trust me. I'm sorry, but... Count Mornar just seems suspicious as heck to me. I, I mean, in the last storyline, that I was pretty confident of that. And then this guy is his son, who also works, like, grew up with the Druids. I don't know, man. What about Count Mornar? Will he attend as well? Like most nobles, my father pays little attention to the Druids. When he must speak with the Circles, he summons emissaries to Vestir. Hmm. The Drefa is a meeting of Druid leaders. Outsiders are rarely permitted, but they consider me almost a druid. So your father doesn't appear in the same place as the druid leaders either. Interesting, interesting. 
Why wouldn't the Druids want your help? Is it safe for you? No, we don't uh, ask about that. Hello there. I doubt you'll learn much watching Druid elders argue among themselves. But if Stefan thinks it's important, then I suppose you should go. Well, I will. I will. I think I just got them confused. Fire Song Key DLC is good. It came out five months ago. <laughs> you find a funny place to stand every time, bro. Um, we've got to go and find Druid Lorel over here. Yo! Yeah, I just haven't played it until now. For some reason, I always come back like twice a year to ESO to play last year's DLC that I didn't finish. Finish it off. And uh, this is quite cool. And then to um, play the new DLC as well. Because this time of year... What brings you to the Vine District? The Vine District? How do they even grow under this cave? I hoped to see you again, my friend. But I need to prepare for the Dreyfa. The Elders really must deal with the strife that has come between the circles. How are you preparing here with the tomatoes? Sir Stefan wants me to join you at the meeting. Let's go. You know, that's not a bad idea. Few outsiders are permitted to attend the council meetings. But you can attest to what we saw at Tuin. The Firesong Circle is willing to use force to gather the three sacred seeds. And that's just wrong. Can you tell me about these seeds? The last Druid King gave one seed to each circle long ago. He also gave us a prophecy. The Dream of Kasserain. Some Druids consider it a warning. But Archdruid Orlaith and others believe it's a call to action. So, what does this prophecy say? Hmm. Meet me at the Telling Stone. Oh, no, the no one tell me! The center of the island. It would be easier to simply show you the prophecy, and it's close to Dreyfadel. Okay, okay, let's, let's just... Laurel, may I escort you to the Dreyfa? My thanks, Stefan. I have much to tell you. But I promise to show our friend here the Telling Stone along the way. Of course. We'll see you at the Telling Stone, friend. I feel like a cock block now, but okay. Um, where do we need to go? The Telling Stone? Oh, damn, this place is very pretty. So this is the pier. Yeah, horses with maxed out speeds do look a bit weird, to be honest. But they're very quick. Which is great in this game. You need a rapid horse, mate. If ESO was more frequently updated, I'd be heavily invested in the game. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. I think I would also play it more consistently. But I, I don't know, like... So, like, as a casual... Because I, I really play this game very casually now. I, like, buy their DLC every year. I come do the story and, like, a bit of side content. And then I don't play it the rest of the year. And then I come back for the next thing. And that's how they make their money. That's their business model. And that's what works. Um, it just... It's not the kind of MMO that, like... Retaining that player base isn't why they make money, I don't think. They make money off selling the yearly chapters. And that's what their focus is, clearly. With everything they're doing. Where are the telling stones? Yeah, I'm just going to teleport here, then. Will you show me now? Oh, they're over here. Okay, great. We'll just go and get the Sky Shard along the way, then. <laughs> Mate, my horse is faster than a car. Look, that thing, that mountain didn't even load in before I reached it. That's how fast my horse is. There's actually a Sky Shard over here we need, then. It's this way. Up on this cliff, I guess. There it is. Look at these little head tomes. What does this mean? Uh, okay, let's go north. There's so many of these little wooden cutouts. What is that? Yo! Let's kill this thing. It's a chimera. Three headed dog. Come and take us! Get Rex up. 
Ooh. Okay, it's dead now. I think there's a trial where there's actually one with more than a few million health that we could uh, have some fun with. But I haven't played that. We should have a horse race. Well, if you've invested in the champion points to make your horse even faster, then you would just win. Whereas, uh, I've not done that. But yeah, it would be cool. Let me in! Hey, she's probably waiting up there. She can just see, like, the top of my forehead jumping over the rock, trying to climb up. Paul says a stupid entrance. Here we go. Darkness stirs. Who are you? Roots tremble. Hello? Druids gather. I am the nourisher. The sower. Oh. Needed? I don't think that's wise, Free. I don't trust the fire song. Fire song. Pulsing, ripping, torn free from the ground. Blood in leaves. A memory. What is this? Friend of Laurel. I am free. Keeper, nourisher, sower, song of the green. The king spoke. Free became. Dream given form. Made real. Awakened too early. Unrest in the soil. Something is wrong. I don't understand. What could trouble a nature spirit? A song of hate blows through the branches. Harm drips like sap. It soaks the ground. Awaken to fire. Tremors. All the volcano. volcano. Yeah. Dead wood. Blood in the shadows. I am troubled. I'm just like, what the heck are you talking about? Rock. <laughs> Root. Leaf. Brook. All dreams of the green. My kin. Spirits given form. We are. Purpose. Meaning. Now, a new purpose grows. Unwelcome change. So the volcano is going to go off, is what she's saying. What is your purpose, is all I can say. King Casserain called me from the green. A choice to be made. A moment. Waiting. Needed. My purpose is... To be. Wait. Listen. Roots must find water before they drink. Okay. Did they write the story using predictive text? <laughs> I mean, going by this conversation. Welcome to the Telling Stone, my friend. These runes tell the prophecy. We're not going to talk about that. Kasserain. Almost nothing survives from the time of the Druid King, but we have this, and now free as well. What exactly is free? A nature spirit, called from the green by King Kasserain and hidden with the weird in High Rock. They slept since the time of the last Druid King, until the Firesong Circle sent an Arch Druid to find Free and awaken them. They gave Free leaf shorts. Shores trickery. Must be. Miss Green Giant. And she's pretty small. What did the Fire Song Druids want with Free? Pretty would kill her. I probably know more about the Druid King than any other Druid alive, but so much remains a mystery. Ah, <sighs> The Dream of Kasserain describes a mountain shaking and a sower awakening. I think it's talking about Mount Fire Song and Free. Tell me about the prophecy. How do the sacred seeds fit in? So much has been lost, so I can only guess. You serious? Maybe Arch Druid Orlaith believes the seeds must be united to make the prophecy come true. Until they end their violent ways, though, I plan to keep free a secret. Let's go see what happens at the Dreyfa. Well, free seems pretty useless anyway. I don't really know what we learned from her beyond the volcano definitely being included. Will there be, um, where will it take place? The Dreyfa will begin soon. Three archdruids from each circle meet in a dell within the hills across the valley just to the south of here. We should make our way there. 
I don't want to miss anything. Sounds like you've missed a lot, considering you were brought up by Jurids. What do you think the dream of Kassorayan means? Someday a new Druid king will appear to take the Ivy Throne. Oh, really? Kassorayan led our withdrawal from the mainland. But he also saw a day when Druids would once again take their place in Tamriel. For good or ill. Good or ill? You think the return of the Druid king might be bad? Well, I mean, there's going to be a massive war if he's going to take the Ivy Throne. The dream is a promise and a warning. Some druids believe we're destined to bring a green renewal to Tamriel. To teach everyone to live in harmony with nature. Others fear a green scourge when nature runs amok and the tyranny of druids takes hold. Which interpretation do you think is correct? I think the second. I think the dream is a metaphor. Kassarain was reminding us of where we came from. The day he describes will never come, but we should lead our lives as if it's close at hand. Make the right choices. Do the right things. Okay, that makes sense. That's how I see it. According to the prophecy, how would this green scourge come about? Hard to say. So much is open to interpretation. Interpret. I think it warns of a usurper who claims the kingship by force and treachery. Okay. It may be related to the end of Kassarain's rule. I found one reference to an all-weather death cult active at that time. Tell me about the Druid King. Kassarain was the last of the Druid Kings. In an age long past, he led our people from High Rock to Galen. They hoped to find a land where Druids could live in peace and follow Ifray's teachings as they understood them. And why was Kassaran the last Druid King? Well, I guess they had a free a sort of political system after that with separate clans. He chose no successor before he died. That was the reason? Instead, Kassaran recognized the three circles and told them go. to govern themselves together in peace. And so Makes sense. Can you pickpocket the free? What do you have on you? Druid Laurel is wise. She is wise. Ugh. Must be painful for her to talk, being made out of bark and stuff. So where is this place? It's it's over here. Okay, cool. Let's go there next. Oh god. Rip. Is there a way shrine near us? Not. Mm, I think we're too close to this one. Beep. It was actually a slight shortcut. Real gamers understand. Can't pickpocket a talker. No, you're right, I can't. But what would she be holding anyway? Sticks? I was, I was intrigued. Does she even have pockets to pickpocket? I have so many questions. Oh, it's in here. Oh my god, they've left so many mushrooms. It's a great area for harvesting. Yes, Bastion. It's a great area for harvesting. Jordan! Thanks for becoming a member, dude, for 51 months! Holy crap! So many years of membership! Battle Brother! This woman knows more than others, yet knows absolutely nothing helpful. <laughs> she... The only thing she mentioned was Volcano, which could, can be considered slightly helpful. The day is upon us. The Dreyfa must crown a new Druid King. Uh, I missed it. But you have no right to claim the sacred seeds by force. You hide your seeds and keep the sower of Kassarain's dream for yourself. You declare this war, not the Fire Song. No Druid King can be crowned until the circles are united. The Telling Stone is quite clear. This Dreyfa is a sham. If I must burn away the old to reveal the new, so be it! Look out, guys, look out! Oh, magic! What's he doing? Can I come in? I'll just stay here. This seems safer. My friend, your shield isn't very effective. We're being attacked. We're being attacked. Don't worry, I'll save you. Mate, what? Your your shield doesn't block anything, mate. What are you even doing? You're just posing. Look, the spells are coming through. Your shield is useless, you silly pirate. Huzzah! 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 Oh, nice dodge there, bro. Thank you. Now, 
Go help Laurel and Stefan. Go on! I'll keep watch here. What do you you'll keep watch? There's nothing happening here. I killed them all for you. You silly pirates. Jordan, thanks for the donation, dude. Battle Brothers for as long as the channel and Danny's reign on the internet. Ah, oh, appreciate it, mate. I hope it is forevermore. It's been over a decade so far with the support of all you guys. I do appreciate it. Oh, that lady wasn't ready for our arrival. Hello there. I mean, this guy didn't even attack me. I don't think they expected me to come. Oh! Gonna sneak attack. Here, Rexum. You defeated my champion. Every no villain matter. is the hero of their own story. Tell to stay out of this. <laughs> or his son's life is forfeit. Just kill him. We don't need him. Outrage. She has young Stefan. We must tread carefully, yet, thanks to this mainlander, we still live. We must inform Count Mornard. I won't tell Archdruids what to do, but you're welcome in Vestir. Everyone's looking at me. Orlaith was going to take me, but Stefan intervened. He put himself in danger to save me and protect my circle. Ha, friends. We need to tell Count Mornard what happened. And then we have to help Stefan. Why do you think he attacked anyway? Well, obviously. He wants the seeds. Archdruid Orlaith never intended the Dreyfa to judge her actions. Root and rot. She only agreed to come so she could have the dread sails kill the Archdruids. Tactical. She meant to leave the Stone Lore and the Elder Tide crippled and without their leaders. We saved the Archdruid and Archdruid Elric from the Dread Sails. Yes, we did. So I see. Thank you. That's what happened. That was more good than I could do. I chased after Orlaith and ran directly into her hands. Worse yet, I brought Stefan right to her. Now the Firesong Circle has a hostage. What, she'll, what will she do to Stefan? Well, she said she'd kill him. I don't know, but Count Mornard will be furious. Archdruid Orlaith might demand the Sacred Seeds in exchange for Stefan. Or she could make House Mornard stand down until her allies collect the seeds for her. This is bad. You're done goofed up. The lot of you are useless, especially Sir Stefan's knights. I mean, we didn't need him anyway, really. It's probably done us a favor and staying out of our way. Unless things would go wrong now. Daimo the Dragon! Welcome to Unlocking Let's Play content. Thank you for becoming a member, my dude. Appreciate the support. The Elder Scroll 6 beta looks good so far. Yeah, right? They've done they've done well. Done well getting out this far. In fact, regarding the Elder Scroll 6's release date, we've actually got some more news on it. Which I've not actually talked about on the channel yet. But um uh, we'll just fast travel there. Let's go and see Captain Menard, or Lord Menard, or whatever his name is. Um, so essentially, um, during the merger with uh, Microsoft buying Blizzard, a lot of the plans Microsoft had were mentioned in the legal documentation, including um, Bethesda releasing a IP um, that was going to be apparently 10 years potentially in the making and i believe that ip was the elder scrolls because it really wouldn't make sense for it to be anything else um so i think because the name was retracted and say like the elder scrolls series but i'm pretty sure that's what it was so i think it's going to be another five years before we actually see it which doesn't surprise me because of what todd howard said in interviews as well he said like it was actually going to be a lot longer the off because the technology they needed for it didn't actually exist so yet. The, together. the fire song will answer for this crime, Delphin. By House Mornard's honor, this I so swear. I don't okay. want vengeance, Feta. I hope to be I don't done want more here death. Soon. I just I just want my friends back. DB forever. Member for 18 months. Thanks for the support, bro. What's up, Danny? How you been? I've been pretty good. Pretty pretty damn busy to be honest. Um my wife went to hospital recently and she's back out now and everything's kind of okay. So we're just like working on that. So um, it's been 
been like a lot of personal stuff going on really. I think 300 years in total for all these battle brothers. I love your videos. I watch the Skyrim Let's Plays all the time, both your special edition and anniversary edition. Oh, I feel like I need and to go back to Skyrim. Son is in their clutches. Ah, we should have left these foolish druids to their squabbles. Ignoring someone doesn't mean they'll ignore you. We need the Elder Tide and the Stone Lord to meet this threat and save your son. What do you think about that, Count? Dulev tells me you played no small part in repelling the dread sails and foiling an attack on the Druid Council, mercenary. Has the Fire Song Circle truly made an alliance with the hated Sea Elves? The Dread Sails are helping the Fire Song get the sacred seeds from the other Druid Circles. All this trouble of a Druidic nonsense? <laughs> and it led to the nonsense. deaths of four Arch Druids? Unbelievable! But I wouldn't expect sea elf pirates to bother with an alliance that doesn't pay in plunder. What does Sea Lord Nalos get out of all this? Well, the Arch Druid promised to grant him a stronghold on Galen, according to the orders we found. Probably your castle mate. Typical. A druid who doesn't believe in property generously giving away something that doesn't belong to her. When last I looked, I ruled Galen. Did Arch Druid Orlaith say what she wants from me as a price for keeping my son alive? She wants House Bernard to stay out of her way while she claims the secret seeds. I had no interest in Druid quarrels until she threatened my son. Bah! <laughs> Stefan warned me something dangerous was afoot. I should have listened. Here, House Mornard always pays its debts. There's more to come if you continue to aid us, mercenary. Okay, Game of Thrones, J Lannister over here. And he gives us, to pay his debts, he gives us Monard's Noble Breaches. Wow, thanks. Give me your bloody trousers, okay. I refuse to let Galen's enemies dictate my actions. Yet I dare not move directly against the Fire Song Circle or their Dreadsail's friends, as long as they're holding Stefan hostage. What say you, mercenary? Ready to earn some more House Monard gold? Ah, mate, I'm here for the, the skill points and achievements. What do you need me to do, Count Monard? How do I think the DLC is so far? I think it's better than the first High Isles chapter part of the story. I found that quite slow and a bit boring at times. This is just seems a lot more interesting so far. Though I feel like I kind of already know exactly what's going to happen with the plot. It seems quite predictable in that sense, but I could be wrong. Hopefully I am. What do you need me to do? I don't trust Archdruid or Lath to spare my son, even if she gets everything she wants. I will instruct my knights to stand down. Let her think I am paralyzed by this threat. Meanwhile, we secretly work to save Stefan from the Fire Song. What do you want me to do? While Archdruid or Lath sees my knights doing what she demanded, nothing. I want you to find Stefan and set him free. Dulef says the Stone Law and Elder Tide Arch Druids are here in the city. Get them to tell you where Stefan is being held. Okay. I'm counting on you, mercenary. Save my son, and you can name your price. Dulef says Revol and Elec are by the bridge east of Vastia. Talk to them. They know parts of Galen no one else has even seen. They must have an idea where to find Stefan. Oh, this is interesting. Why did you ignore Sir Stefan's warning about trouble among the Druid's, Druid circles? A hard question, but a fair one. My house has always found it wiser to let the Druids take care of their own affairs. Most of them dislike us as it is. Imagine their resentment if Mornards took sides in all their petty disputes. Wow, your son seems very involved with them. I blame his mother. Ha! <laughs> Vissel took an interest in druid teachings when she came to Galen. She shared that interest with our son. When Vissel died, well, I could not forbid something Stefan had shared with his mother. Do a Skyrim mage? Do you mean like the mage questline playthrough? I haven't played a mage in ages in Skyrim. I always just play like uh, more of an assassin or stealth archer. Maybe I could play a bow build as a stealth archer, do the mage guild. People keep asking me as well to do the dawn guard vampire side of the quest line. But I said I'd do that too. Don't know which one you prefer to see. Would the fire song take Sir Staffan off the island? 
While the Fire Sun call Iphelon home, I suspect Orlaith will keep him close until she acquires the seeds from the other druid circles. He could be on a Dreadsail ship, but I doubt the Fire Song would trust their allies with such precious cargo. True, true, true. Okay. So we've got to go over here next. In the city. See if we can find out where Stefan is. Save his son and he'll reward you with his underpants and 24 gold. I know. I'm so excited. I can't even repair my armor for the 600 gold he gave me. That I, it, like, I fell off a cliff and damaged it. Hmm. You there. You look quite capable. True. Would you be interested in helping seal the volcanic vents on Galen? What is the situation with the volcanic vents? Let me guess. You want me to seal the vents so when you put all the seeds in the volcano, it explodes to maximum capacity. The vents are causing problems all over Galen. Activity. Wait, is this this is a side quest. I don't want. I want to want to do this. This isn't the main quest. Um. So I want to go down there on the coastline. So we've got to leave the city. Oh, this is the way out of the city. I beg you do Shivering Isles. Oh, yes, Shivering Isles is like the best DLC. I don't know if people would watch it though. Uh, how do I get out of this place? I'm so lost. Are you able to go through this gate? Okay. I can't go through there. How the heck do I get back down there? Let's hit the trail. Shut up, Bastion. Nothing you say is helpful to me. Is it through the hispit? Trapped in this city. You know what? I'm just gonna fast travel. The Vigilant mod is a bit hoary, but very good. Would love to see you play it. Oh, Vigilant mod. Did I? I don't know if I played that one yet. I can't remember if I did. If I haven't, it would be cool to do like another quest or story mod for sure. There's a big fire here. What the hell happened? I'll just run my burning cat through the lava. Just to keep it on fire. Leave it on that slow cook. Yeet! Why are we meeting here in this? Laurel. Archdruid Orlaith demanded the nature spirit too. You must find free and keep them safe. But Stefan is in danger. I have to... What's that? Mount Firesong stirs. Archdruid Orlaith and her circle ignore their duties. Oh, that's why we met here. So we could see the mountain in the distance. Poetic. I like it. Laurel blames herself for Stefan's capture. He is dear to her. And to me. I tutored them both when they were young. Thank you again for defending us at the Drafer. I just wish we'd been able to save all the Archdruids and not just Elec and I. Count Menard sent me to ask if you have any idea where the Fire Song might be holding Sir Stefan. Hmm. An intriguing question. Unfortunately, as far as I know, the Fire Song don't have any strongholds on Galen. Unless... Perhaps they've occupied one of the ancient druidic sites. Maybe Archdruid Elec of the Elder Tide can tell you more. How are you after the attack? Thanks to you and Dulef, I wasn't harmed. My fellow Archdruids weren't so fortunate. Still, we moved our sacred seed to a new location, known only to a few of the Stone Nor, and I'm sending Laurel to keep free safe. I pray it's enough. Tell me about Mount Firesong. Mount Firesong rises above Iphelon, but its roots extend throughout the archipelago. It gives the islands their hot springs and steam vents, and usually these are curiosities, not particularly dangerous, but this recent activity is concerning. The Iphelon is the Firesong island, right? The island is sacred to all druids, but yes, the Firesong call it home. The Circle's ancient duty is to calm the spirit of the volcano when it grows restless, yet 
the mountain grows angrier. I wonder if the fire song can contain it. Or want to. Oh, angry mountain goes raw. Will the Mount Fire Song erupt? The volcano is erupting already. Lava vents long dormant on Galen and High Isle now flow with molten magma. The last time the volcano erupted, it caused terrible damage to the islands. Thousands of lives were lost. I pray it doesn't reach that level. Why is she doing this? Archdruid Orlaith believes in a literal interpretation of the dream of Kasserain. She sees the signs of the season as proof that the prophecy is upon us. That's why she seeks to gather all three sacred seeds and why she wants free. How does she know about free though? I thought we kept her a secret. And you believe in that interpretation? Mount Firesong has don't believe certainly it. grown more active recently, but free only awakened due to the actions of the Firesong. Can one force a prophecy to come to pass? Still, I have a terrible feeling that Orlaith knows something we don't. And that concerns me. Concerns me greatly too, fisherman. First twin, then Dreyfadel. My circle takes pride in protecting what we love. War has come to Galen, but we have few warriors left to fight it. How could Archdruid Orlaith side with those pirates against her own people? I got yelled at an ESO for saying and pointing out similarities of ESO races and other world cultures like Vikings, Celtics, Mayan, Ar Asians, Arab, Africa, and so on. Yeah, of course, like, I mean, it's written by people, right? It's going to be inspired by things people have done. I think when I was actually um, talking to um, the creator of the Elder Scrolls, he actually referenced some of his inspirations um, in some of the different cultures. But he's like very much, uh, he's a well-read man and he likes his history as well. So it really doesn't surprise me that he, there's a lot of uh, crossovers. Like, yeah, like with the Nords being in Skyrim and a lot of their culture and Yskrimar being similar to the Vikings and, and their culture. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Now, of course, you're not crazy, dude. <laughs> like, uh, you can kind of draw the similarities to most things. Like, look at Lord of the Rings, for example. Count Menard sent me to ask if you have any idea where the Fire Song might be holding Sir Stefan. Are you suggesting that the Elder Tide have anything to do with the treachery of the Fire Song, outsider? Yes, but I can only say no. But if you know anything that can help me find Sir Stefan, you need to tell me. Hmm. One of our druids was captured in the attack on Tuin. I've had scouts searching all over for her, and they track the dread sails to Castle Turnier. It's a ruined keep on Galen's northwest shore. And what aren't you telling me, Archdruid? The keep is built over an old Elder Tide village. Ignored. A cave at the foot of the bluffs leads to the castle's dungeons. I think they're holding Druid Nerea there, as well as Sir Stefan. And... I had Nerea hide our seed there before the place was seized. I'll try to rescue all of them. I am trusting you, outsider. Rescue Druid Nerea and keep the sacred seed away from Archdruid Orlaith. Accomplish this, and the Elder Tide Circle will not forget it. Remember, Castle Tonaire on the northwest coast. I 100% guarantee that she will get all the seeds and something's going to go on with that volcano. She's going to try and blow up the world. Uh, we need to go over here next. And we're just going to ride our extremely fast horse over there, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, every single, like, good... Um, every, like cool IP like the Elder Scrolls, Game of Thrones, uh, Lord of the Rings takes inspiration from human history. It's just it's not a bad thing. It's something that should really be celebrated because it's like the reason why a lot of the factions and cultures and storylines are so relatable and interesting you know. Oh can I pick it up? They haven't noticed me. That should Easy. Come in handy. It should indeed Bastion. Like, uh, Game of Thrones has, like, the Mongols, um, probably inspired Khal Drogo. 
and uh, you know what are they called Khaleesi commands them and stuff can't remember what they're called the Dothraki that's it oh I've gone the wrong way we need to go back this way and around yeah I think Lord of the Rings is probably like the first ultimate fantasy you know Tolkien's just a genius and I mean you know some of the stuff he wrote about it could be somewhat inspired by you know the battles he endured being in England with the war and stuff but who really knows apart from him Yeah, Imperial City referencing ancient Rome, and I think even like Todd Howard has, has spoken about like. Uh, we meet again, mercenary. I expected as much. I even know some of the developers um, have gone to certain countries for the Elder Scrolls Six, um, for what's inspired them there as well. So yeah, they obviously like you know if you don't, if you're going to build a game that's based in a desert, you're going to go to somewhere like that so you can understand the architecture and how the people live and dress and what the food's like so you can like make it feel quite real even though it's in a fantasy universe so you've got to go embrace that culture if you're about to walk up and bang on the front gate let me stop you right here it always works the ruins though. are full of dread sails you'll never get in that way see lord nalo seems to be mustering his forces for something big Ooh. Are you spying on the dead set? Obviously she is. Sea Lord Nalo slaughtered can't see three them. of my crew. I'm going to free them and kill the bastard. Unfortunately, the dread sails are here in greater numbers than I anticipated. Which makes me wonder how you plan to rescue the lordling they have in there. You know for sure that he's in there? I saw Nalo and some Firesong druids arrive with a captive noble in Monard colours. The druids left shortly after, but their prisoner stayed behind. Now you're here. Not hard to put wind and wave together. So what's your plan? Oh, Kingdom Come Deliverance was a fantastic game. I really that's like pretty one of my all time favourite games to be honest. And yeah, Sea Elves would be such a cool race. If they were to do a playable out race. I feel like they could definitely do it. I don't know what it would add to the game, because it's still like a humanoid race. And I don't know if it would be I mean, yeah, because they could have, like, a whole skill line. It would almost have to be, like, I don't know. I don't know if it would be worth it. Like, it would have some racial passives. But in reality, I'd rather have a new weapon skill line or a new class. I feel like a new weapon skill line adds so much to the game. Just in terms of, like, for every single person in every class. Like, a new weapon skill line, like spears, for example. That could be, like, really interesting. Um, I think I'd rather have that, to be honest. If I had to choose. Archdroid Elec told me about a secret entrance to the dungeons. I'll sneak in. A foolhardy rescue attempt? Perfect. Just the diversion I need. That should give me the chance to find my crewmates and confront Sea Lord Nalos. Take your secret path. I'll find another way in. We'll hit them from two directions. Kinky, I'll see you if in there. If you're heading for the dungeons, I'll scale the walls while you're clad. Mate, I can fit through this wall. I mean, look at this. There's a giant gap. Wow, I'm actually inside now. Okay. Is this actually where we need to go? Yes. Yes, it is. But the cave passage is out the back. Over there somewhere. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll take the advice and go around the back. I don't think she'll have to scale any walls, though. Oh, wait. That looks like a wall to scale. That is a hell of a wall. Jeez. Let's take the secret entrance. It's a very poetic-looking castle. Oh, look. Someone's doing the new little uh, digging site thing. I love that stuff. Antiquities, it's called. That skill line, for example, really cool. Adding mythics to the game, really cool. Game changer. That affected everyone and is still exciting whenever they add new mythics. So I like stuff like oh, that. That, in a good mood when they made this place. that really changes the game, you know. Quick 
crossbow and one-handed and spear and halberd. That would be cool, yeah. Crossbow would be cool. Especially like dual Let's wheel go. crossbows. Like uh, in Diablo with the the uh what's it called? The Demon Slayer or something? The Elder Tide Druid broke. There's I knew she would. Oh, there's loads of crabs around here. They look a bit crabby. What is this? An Ornar. Get wrecked something. Nalos, I've come for your head. Siravain? Ha! Uldis, you get the relic and deliver it to the Fire Song. I'll deal with this pest. Die, traitor, for King Orgnum! Well, he ran away, and that was that. If she only had, would have waited, it would have been a lot easier for me to come in and help. Two arms! Bastion is just adorable, isn't he? Here we are. Friend, over here. You're a welcome sight. Hello there. By the green, how did you find me, friend? No, I don't care. I'm just glad you're here. Your timing is excellent. I'm not sure I could endure another round of my jailer's torture. Thank you for becoming a member, kind stranger. Oaken, sir, was a huge game changer. Yeah, and I think it needed the nerf as well, because it was just a bit too... Like, the skill level required on a full rotation build should be rewarding in DPS, whereas Oaken, sir, was a bit too rewarding for, like, brain-dead way of playing the game. From what I saw, I've not actually used Oaken, sir, yet, but that's what seems to be, you know, the veteran player's perception of that so i think it did need a nerf but it doesn't seem it still seems to be good even after the nerf um is what it looks like i don't know how you feel about that nerf though dual crossbows that would be cool it would look amazing too they're torturing you dread sail interrogation tactics aren't subtle they pressed me for information about vastir defenses weaknesses those sorts of things sea lord nalos obviously has ambitions in galen beyond the bargain he made with the fire song circle how do I get you out of this cell? Not easily. This lock has some sort of arcane reinforcement. You won't be able to pick it. We need the Jailer's key. He's a fearsome brute called Goriad. His chambers are across the hall to the east. That's how he comes and goes, at least. He carries the key on his person. Why wouldn't he? He might. Or it might be stored somewhere in his chambers. Get the key however you can, but I'll shed no tears if you dispatch Goriad. Oh, definitely just going to kill him. Let's go. Where is he? Oh, we'll be sneaky. We'll be sneaky. Hey, oh! Steel. We got detected. Wasn't very sneaky of us, Bastion. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, that dodge. Are you hurt? Oh, I think they've detected us, Bastion. Oh my god, the first time I've seen you get a kill. Watch out for the swashbuckler battle, brother. What's this? A desk? With a crafting style inside. Nice. <coughs> Did dual crossbows actually work in D&D? I feel like they don't. Unless you like, make some cool rules up for it. Aha! A book! Another book. But one I've already read. Here he is. I found him. Get Rex up. Get Rex. And feed what's left to the sharks. Delete it. Life isn't a fairy tale, but sometimes villains get what they deserve anyway. That was deep. Deepest thing you've ever said to me. I'm just trying to pick up the key. There it is. Finally. We've done it, boys. We've got the key. Get wrecked, son. Do you sort of feel a bit dumb with Skyrim lately? I've noticed you're playing loads of other games but not Skyrim much anymore. Just asking because I feel like that a bit. Yeah, like, so every now and again, I'll probably go off Skyrim for a bit. And then I'll come back to it. 
Um, but I only like to play the game when I'm actually excited to play it. Because I don't like to just pretend that I'm enjoying something when I'm not genuinely enjoying it. Otherwise, you'll get like a very different sort of like uh, style of gameplay. You know, I need to actually enjoy the game and be excited for it, have fun with it. Otherwise, yeah, like it's just not genuine. I don't really like to force positivity just for the sake of it. Mate, it's so annoying that I have to click on the, the correct part of the bookshelf to open it. To be honest, I wasn't really expecting to get into ESO so much uh, recently, but um, I've been really enjoying it. I've been quite addicted to it the last couple of days when I jumped on since it's been so long. You return, and with the key, I hope. No, I don't. I'm actually going to leave you locked here forever. Good. Now let me out of this cell, friend. We're friends now, huh? Thank you. Now let us speak without the bars between us. Oh my God! You could you could have just walked out the whole time. You slippery, dirty man, you. Oh, it feels good to be out of that cell. I heard quite a commotion earlier. Something about heads and traitors and kings. Was that your work? Captain Siravan is here. She's going after the Sea Lord Narlos while, I res while I'm rescuing you. The Sea Elf that hunts others of her kind. Banner at court told me about Suncleft Cove. An unlikely ally. I don't mean to complicate things, but there's another prisoner. An elder tide druid named Nerea. We must rescue her as well. Alaric told me told to hide the outside seed in these ruins. Of course. That explains much. See, Lord Nalos wants to get the seed for the fire song. Obviously, we can't let him have it. Nor can we leave Norea to the cruelty of the Dreadsills. They've been interrogating her for hours. And he learned where the seed is hidden. Then we must rescue Norea and get her to tell us how to find the seed. We need to retrieve it before Sea Lord Nalos. Let's do it. I have, I understand the mission, Battle Brother. Follow me. This is a cool dungeon as well. It's, it's, a, it's a much better story, the second half, than the first half. Usually I find it's the other way around, but um, I'm really enjoying this story compared to the initial, like, quest on the initial island of High Isles um, that we did 10 months ago. That wasn't as good as this one so far. Even though the story is quite obvious, like, I feel like it is at least. Maybe there's a big curveball or plot twist coming, I don't know. Um, I feel like I already know the evil character who's actually pretending to be the good guy. It's a bit obvious. But we kind of figured that out ten months ago. Assemble your crews and make ready for a masked marvel assault at the city of Vastri. Our prisoners have revealed no weak points of note, but with our numbers, we'll overrun the city before the defenders can redeploy to meet us. Be ready to attack without the support of the Firesun Circle. The Archdruid Oralath promised to aid us in payment for our help with the Druid Cancel, but she wants to find the, the Stone Door Seed before we strike. I do not want to wait, and frankly, I do not trust her, Sea Lord Narlos. Sea Lord Narlos plans to attack Vestir. I guessed as much. Come, let's press on. Time is not on our side. You guessed as much? Oh, wow. That's impressive. Wish you would have mentioned it earlier, because we could have prepared. The day is ours. Is it, though? How do you level up as an vampire? I'll cut you free. Hold on. The seed. They're after the Elder Tide seed. We know. She's a traitor. She gave away the position. We must end her. You and Sir Stefan are, are too late. I was weak. I told the Dread Sails about my circle's most guarded secret. Leave me behind and stop them before they escape with the Elder Tide relic. But I was asked to recover you and the seed. The Archdruid sent you? Then perhaps there's still hope. I hid the seat in an ancient Elder Tide shrine below the castle. But Sea Lord Nalos forced me to tell him how to find it. If only I'd been a little stronger. 
Where's the shrine, woman? There's an ancient tree in the castle's upper courtyard. The door to the shrine lies hidden within its roots. Captain Uldis heads there as we speak. Please, don't let the sea elves take the sacred seed. Oh no, Go I was planning ahead, on giving it to them. Look for the ancient tree in the upper courtyard. I just need a moment to catch my breath, and then I'll be right behind you. No, I'll you won't. stay with while you clear the way. We'll join you in the courtyard. Of course you will. I'll do everything and there'll be a boss fight. Me and Bastion will sort it out. Don't worry, boys. Ooh, this is very pretty. Okay. This looks cool. Lost Dusk Battle Brother. Thank you for becoming a member. Are you going to play Star Wars Jedi Survivor? No, I don't think so. I'm enjoying ESO too much at the moment. I mean, it would be much better for the channel for me to play it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I'm just not, not up for it. Yes! Ooh, 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 what are you doing? Get down from there. Didn't give you permission to do that. Oh, Bastion, you've leveled up, my friend. How can I help? What can you do now? I'm listening. What can What's you do? I've had some. Major. Oh, you've can unlocked. I help you with something? I'm listening. You're affable. Always ready to. You've unlocked um, crushing claws, which we don't need actually. Uh, skills. This is level 5. This is level 5. This is level 5. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you've kind of got everything you need. I just need to get you some more heavy armor, to be honest. Companions are interesting in ESO, but they're just nowhere near as one good as the one from Skyrim. Like, I feel like they should just add chat GPT support to this game so I can have a meaningful conversation with Bastion as we adventure. If you guys haven't seen my most recent video about AI uh, in video games, like, it's honestly mind-blowing. Oh, it, I missed. Yeah, wreck some. I got a new ring. Interesting. I really like this overgrown castle. Captain Aldous entered the next courtyard. I leave her to you. With me, Gilded Blades. Time to make Sea Lord Nalos pay. I didn't know who that was, the but... The, the door to the shrine isn't hidden. It's right here. Dude, this is sick. This dungeon's really cool. This whole environment, like, going into the deep roots yeah. of the shrine. I'm loving it. Dirty snow elf working with druids. That's the last of them. No, it's not. There's one here. Don't lie to me. They've just reskinned the uh, the dragon knight. You know, like the druid armor set is just a reskinned. What's it called? Um, where are outfits? Outfit styles. No, it's in collectibles. Costumes. It is this. Um, just like like because those colored beads are on it and it's kind of like that reskinned if you know what i mean oh oh i'm just gonna like absolutely delete this guy you ready i expected more mainlander deal with you i'll bring the druid her relic how dare you you can't Take the seed, Mainlander. We can avoid the dread sails by using the back exit. Take the seed to Bastyr. It will be safe there. Am I actually going to be able to get the seed? Look at it. It's like a little nugget. A golden nugget. That's mine. Look out! Behind us! Calm yourself. I am Captain Siravane of the Gilded Blades. Sea Lord Nalos escaped me. Curse his eyes. 
I learned two things you should know. The Fire Song also seek the Stone Law relic, and Nalos plans to attack Vastir soon. I appreciate the warning. Let's continue this outside. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Um, vampires work on the veteran dungeons. It's pretty easy. Though I find like a lot of people when I'm playing a vampire tank are like, Oh, it doesn't work. Why are you a vampire? It's like, I've never struggled. And I only have like blue and purple leeching set armor and winter's respite. Not even like optimal gold gear and I can still easily do any dungeon. Head markings have been updated. Okay, cool. What's this? What is this? That's nice. Alright, I've got the seed. I'm going to keep it myself so you guys don't lose it again. Which is always a classic. I reckon I'm going to give the seed to someone for safekeeping. Then they're going to betray us. And then uh, give it to the fire song. And they're going to use it to like erupt the volcano and everything will go wrong. I reckon that's the plot. Can you use heavy armor and be a night blade? Yeah, you can complete... You can... Play a Nightblade as a tank. In fact, in PvP, um, Remember my warning. The dread sails are coming for Bastille. You kind of pump out the critical um, impenetrable armor trait just so you can stop all the critical damage. Um, so heavy armor crit resistance can be good. Depends though. Like sometimes you have like one heavy piece or, or sometimes more. This character looks really cool. No idea what armor sets she's wearing. She can't see though. Well, my plan almost worked. And you did your part. Even rescued the Lordling and the Druid, I see. Sea Lord Nalos may have escaped my blade again, but I got my crew members back. Better than a leak in the hold, I suppose. Can you tell us anything about the Sea Lord Nalos and his plan to attack Vestir? Nothing more to tell. He's got a massive fleet, and it's going to sail straight for Vestir. He's just waiting for the Fire Song to provide their support. That won't come until they get the Stone Law relic. At least that's what Nalos indicated. And what are you going to do? Gather more of the Gilded Blades from wherever Nalos stashed them. Then wait for another chance to kill the bastard. Who knows? Maybe I'll come to Vestir, since I know Nalos will be there. As long as we share an enemy... I'm on your side. Thanks for the warning. Shouldn't you take that relic someplace safe? Everyone seems rather concerned about the silly old things. <laughs> Fair enough. She has a good point. The most sensible NPC we've met, really. I've got to go back to the city. Hello there, sir. Oh, there's a clam. Quickly, my clam. Oh, oh, water skin. Give me Lorcan's tears. Ah, purified this is a great water. Area for harvesting. Yes, Bastion. God. Hey, Bastion, what am I doing? Look at all this harvesting, Bastion. I wonder what I'll make with that. He loves it when you harvest something. Hello there. Uh, where are we right now? This is like a really cool area. So many any sh enemy ships down here as well. We need to go over here to the waste room. Isn't the new Legend of Zelda game out? Or is it coming out? Yeah, Vampire can sometimes make sense. Other times it just doesn't work. Werewolf's pretty good in PvP too, though. If you're a furry. Ha! Now I'm joking. I, I'm actually a werewolf. Mm, taking that aroma, folks. That's the Mainlander? Come, 
you tell me what happened at Castle Tenere. Honestly, if you told me these guys were homeless, I'd believe you. Nerea tells me you saved her from the dread sails at Castle Tenere, and that you recovered the sacred seed of our circle. Is this true? Yes, here's your seed. I wonder if it's actually a real one. I... I can hardly believe it. Too many Elder Tide fell to fire song treachery and dread sails blades. I was sure we had lost our sacred seed as well. I'll hold on to this for now. If Archdruid Orlaith wants the seed, she can pry it from my dead hands. Well, the dread sails plan to attack their steer. The seed might not be safe here. Then we'll give them a fight. The Breton Lords and I have our differences. But they build mighty walls. When it's convenient. The Elder Tide will help defend them. You have my word. Oh, young Sir Stefan wants to speak with you. He said to find him at Castle Mornard. Very well. Count Mornard and his son are making plans in the throne room, and Sir Stefan wants you there. You should go. Oh, we can ask him about what's so significant about the Elder Tide seed. He probably won't know either. All seeds are a promise, Mainlander. A potential still to come. This seed was a gift from the last druid king, entrusted to the Elder Tide Circle countless ages ago. As long as we guard it, the dream of Kasserain lives. I will not let Orlaith take it. Rip. Okay, let's go and see our boy. He's just healing those tomatoes. Get wrecked, son! Ha ha ha! Mark my words. <laughs> Quickly, use the pardon edict. Where is it? Just sign this dodgy piece of paper. How much bounty do I have? 450. Quickly, sign another piece of paper. Where are you? Counterfeit. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Use that. Worth. Just kill people in broad daylight, sign a few because pieces you of didn't paper. Get caught doesn't mean you didn't deserve to. Who the hell do you think you are, Bastion? We need to have a conversation. Okay, we need to actually go over here. Follow me, Bastion. You silly man. Just gonna loot this dead. Cold body that I just murdered and got away with. Here, thief. Oh wait, what? Ninety-two gold bounty, really? Just because I robbed the body Taking that I assassinated. Are there even any guards in the city? No one seems to care about the bloody murder I just committed. I can't believe the fire song betrayed us. Attacking the Draper. How will that bring the circles together? What's the this? What's this? Will answer for this crime. Oh, oh out, he survived. So Impressive. I don't want vengeance, Beta. Impressive. Assassino! What is this massive party? Is returned. A celebration is in order. No, Father. The Dreadsails plan to attack Vastir. What? Mere pirates can't breach our walls. Once Archdruid Orlaith finds the Stone Lore Seed, the Fire Song and the Dread Sails will combine forces and strike. We must prepare. Especially when she finds out that the Seed is here. A storm is gathering, friend. But thanks to you, I'm here to meet it instead of languishing in a Dread Sail cell. And we managed to save Druid Nerea and secure the Elder Tide Seed. You have proven your worth yet again. What happens now? Now we make use of the time we have and prepare the city's defenses. Gather allies and do what we can to keep the sacred seeds safe. But no matter what happens, I'm honored to fight by your side. Here, friend. My father wanted you to have this. Oh, it's his old necklace he's given us. Thanks. The Dread Cells think to breach Vastir's walls. Never. But they might have the numbers to overwhelm us, especially with the Fire Song at their side. We need more defenders to stand with us. More defenders? Is that even possible? Do you have any friends? By the green, I hope so. The Stone Lore and Elder Tide Druids. 
They're in as much danger as we are. Perhaps more so because the Firesong want their sacred seeds. We need them to help us defend the city. And that's where you come in. What do you need me to do for you? While I help my father prepare the city's defenses, I want you to find the Archdruids and secure their assistance. In exchange, they'll gain a place to protect their wounded and their seeds. Start with Archdruid Raval of the Stonelord Circle. I'll talk to him. I think all those seeds were going to be betrayed by his dad. He's going to like do something with all these seeds. I don't trust your father. Archdruid Raval is in the Vine District, the Druid section of the city. He should be able to tell you where to find Archdruid Elec once you secure his agreement to help. Meanwhile, I have much to do to prepare the city for the coming assault. Yeah, I mean, those questions are pretty obvious. Druids? What does my great city come to, that we need to beg the Druids to help defend it? Still, Stefan is right. We need the help. Go, mercenary. Go, mercenary. Do you not, not even know my name? I'm just a mercenary to him. How depressing. I'm excited for the city attack, boys. Never trust anyone who doesn't see the value in reading. You've watched my content since you were eight. My goodness. That is a, that is a long time of watching content. I'm glad you're still here. Even after you have grown wiser, you're still here to watch my content. I do appreciate it, Brent. Skyrim is my favorite game, hands down. Yeah, same. Closely followed probably by Kingdom Come Deliverance, to be honest. So excited for them to announce the second game. Stop! You look like someone I want to get to know better. A lot better. But... I need to collect your bounty first. What's going on with her eyes? They look terrifying. I have powerful friends. My bounty has already been covered. I'm gonna pay the gold. Pleasure you seem to be respectable again. I think you got away with it this time. I was time. wondering if I'd see you again. What do you mean? I paid. Ah, yeah, Druidkin. I heard what you did. How you secured the Elder Tide Seed and returned it to the care of Arts Druid Elec. Once again, you prove to be a true friend of the druids. But what is this I hear of an impending attack on the city? That's why I'm here. So Stefan requests that the druids help defend from the coming attack. Hmm. Stefan needs to bolster his army and wants to do so with the stone or an elder died. I suppose that makes some sense. We can defend ourselves. And it is our third circle that has gone rogue. I can pledge the stone or to this cause. What about the Elder Tide? Should I speak with Elec too? Let me talk to Elec. If anyone can convince him to bring his people to the city to help defend its walls, it's another Archdruid. Instead, I want to send you to Glimmertarn. Ah, uh, alright. Where am I going? Laurel and most of Galen's Stone Lord Druids are in Glimmertarn. Inform her of the plan and tell her to prepare our circle for war. I'll meet you there after I convince Archdruid Elec to do the same. The village lies directly north of Vastia. Is the seed safe? Perfectly. I gave it to Free for safekeeping. Oh, As a spirit forged from Ifrae's will, who better to protect something so sacred? They've been quite curious about it. Said they felt a connection and wanted to study the seed. Has Free learned anything from studying it? You'll have to ask Free yourself. I returned to Vastia right after delivering the seed. The way Free communicates is still perplexing. I believe we learn more about one another with every passing day, but many mysteries remain. Will the Stone Lore agree to help defend? The request came from Stefan, and my circle loves him as one of our own. Plus, the Fire Song attacked us as well, and we feel a responsibility for our misguided brethren. Besides, I am their Archdruid, and I have already agreed. Yeah, cool, makes sense. I need to go all the way to the north, my friends. So let's go and let's take ride. the Way Shrine down here. Mm, taking that aroma, folks. What is that dude taking in, anyway? You there, 
Sounds pretty sus. Good dialogue. I wish Twitter had this type of horizontal progression. I prefer the story there, but the pain to return to casual, casually long. ESO is easy to jump back in. I think that's the intention, like, to make it super accessible, and they've definitely done that very well. It's, I mean, it, I guess it has some challenging aspects to it if you choose to, like, jump into veteran dungeons and hard mode and uh, some trials, quite difficult. But, um,. I think on the whole, it's pretty casual MMO on like most of the content. I think probably about 95% of the content in this game can be done like just very chill, enjoyably, sort of just going through the storyline and all the voice acting and most of the quests are pretty damn good too. I think that's the attraction for most people. I do find it doesn't hold me on like in terms of like the longevity though, you know. I find that I always kind of burn out playing the game um, after like a few months and then I come back in a year's time after they release more another chapter with more casual content to play. It's quite funny because as a massive Elder Scrolls fan I would have thought I'd be one of the people who would enjoy it beyond just a casual player. Like surely I'm their target audience if that makes sense but I guess it's also not how they make money. Make money by selling the yearly chapters. You'll be all right. Just lie still. Badger making a weird sound. Hello there. Hey, he looks dead. Damn those path traders and their dread sales lackeys. They're everywhere. The fire song attacked these elder tide before they could reach the shelter of this camp. But you look like you came with a purpose. Tell me what news you bring. The Arts Druid sent me. Sir Stefan requested that the Druids help defend Bastyr, and he agreed. That's... unexpected. We normally don't get involved with wars and politics, but the Fire Song started this. So I guess that makes it a Druid problem. What do you need me to do? Look, we need to light the beacon that will gather every stone... The beacons of Gondor shall be lit! Torn. However, the Dread Sails grabbed the Everflame Torch in a recent raid on the village. Oh no. We need that enchanted torch to ignite the beacon. Why did they take the torch? The Dread Sails have a beachhead at Broken Ore Cove, just northeast of here on the shore. They knew. Retrieve the Everflame Torch and meet me at Vale's Bluff to the west. Head to Broken Ore Cove and retrieve the Everflame Torch. Oh my god, you've said that four times. Right. Retrieve the Everflame Torch. Go to Broken Ore Cove and retrieve the Everflame Torch. What am I getting again? Wee! I'm immersed. Let's go. My flying mount. Can we make it to the... St oh no, we're not going to make it, boys! Rip. Bastion just sitting there. Oh, is Bastion okay? He looks actually fine. He's like crying over my dead body. Damn, that's brutal. Ah, oh, I went to the wrong way anyway. We'll just uh, respawn here. It's faster. Come on, Bastion, follow me. Morrowind will be my favourite. I'm old plus nostalgia. They already have one Morrowind chapter out though. She's fishing, not guarding. Luckily, we can just sneak in. Ho ho ho! Yeah, but the new um, Necrom one is in Morrowind as well, right? So, even more Morrowind. I think they probably got a pretty good response to Morrowind. I think Greymore also got a good response, being like, hey look, with that? it's Skyrim 2. I'm going to make some uh, stuff with it. I don't know what yet. But we'll find out soon, Bastion. I think I'd like my own ship someday. Get wrecked. Courage brings victory. It does indeed, Bastion. You are truly a man of wise words. <laughs> I think we have to go down here somewhere to get into this place. Somewhere around here. I've already beat- oh, it's right here. I literally walked past it earlier. This is the torch, then. 
Okay, that was easy enough. Now I've got to go over here. How do I get back up there? I think I've got to go round. Get Rex on. Oh, they're still working on Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah, it's in pre-production right now. I would have thought it would be there for like another five years or so. According to the most recent papers with uh, the IP that's taking them so long. Maybe you just like it because of the nostalgia as well. But also, I feel like some of the zones that have, like, a game already in that area were just better as zones because they kind of had, like, lore to draw on. That or the DLC zones were also, like, incredibly good. Like, Somerset is very cool, very high fantasy, very unique. Deadlands, um, pretty pretty good the deadlands i feel like um blackwood or whatever it's called um wasn't as exciting to me Lair was cool. take you. but the right side of the map just felt like a bit of an afterthought um high aisle very pretty to walk around and the castles here are really cool okay we've actually got to go down here first How do we get up here? Hmm. I should climb up there. I need to get up there. there must be like a way around here. <laughs> ESO can be played solo. Yeah, I literally only play solo. Which is why I've pretty much never done trials. Because <laughs> I think a lot of people play this as just a solo game. The beacon's ready. You have the torch? I do indeed, but I'm trying to defend myself. If you could help, that would be great. We could light these beacons even more quickly. Okay, are you done standing around? It's worse than I thought. Oh, I really? I saw more than my fair share of bodies on the way here. I'm sure you did too. I made them. If we don't hurry, those poisonous thorns will have the numbers to overwhelm Glimmertarn. Blight! You think that the Dead Sails plan to attack Glimmertarn? Oh, no, it's raining, so the beacon won't work anyway. Of course. Why else surround us? Why else steal the Everflame Torch? At least they haven't made it to the beacon. A good it's plan. Ready. It will call the Stone Lord a Glimmer Tarn like a songbird guiding them home. Yes, Did I retrieved the, the Everflame Torch. Good. Then go ahead and ignite the beacon. Hurry, before any of those dread sails spot us. It's my dream. The lighting of the beacons of Gondor. Will Rohan answer, though? Let's head back to Glimmer Tarn and prepare my people for war. I bet they're all dead. Something's gone wrong. I can imagine it. Oh god! Oh god! No! Damn it! Jesus Christ, what was that? Jesus. Oh, oh, oh! oh my god, the parkour. Ah! Come with me, Bastion. This is definitely safe. You guys reckon we can make it to the sea? Yes or no? What do you reckon? Oh no, I messed up! I don't think we're going to make it, guys. Oof. Big oof. And we had to go over here. Oh, it's actually a shortcut. Amazing. We have to go up here. Up this hill. Out of my way. This is a very cool looking village, though. Big fan of this. Very cool. Such a tranquil little area in there. It would be like a really nice little tranquil fishing spot. Or even like a cool place for a player house. Lit the beacon. Good work, Loro. Hopefully Rohan will answer. Ah, Druidkin. Thank you for assisting Laurel. 
I spoke to Elec, and he agreed to bring his elder tide to help defend Bastyr, so I made my way here to lead my own people to this city. But first, we must attend to the matter of the Sacred Seed. What about the Seed? I'd like you and Druid Laurel to make sure the Seed and Free are all right. Laurel believes Free took it to Cloage, an old cave they visited often since coming here. We had mostly forgotten about the cave, but Free seems drawn to the place. What about the Druids? Don't you need to help getting them to Vastri? Vastri? By Ephraim and the Green, I can rally my people and the Elder Tide who seek refuge here. I need you and Laurel to check on Free and the Seed. With the Dread Sails and Fire Songs scouring the area, it's only a matter of time before they're discovered. I will go. Cloage is just to the east. Please hurry. If the Fire Song find that cave, they'll stop at nothing to capture Free and our Sacred Seed. Not the seed. Laurel, go with our friend. Make sure free is all right. Begin gathering your belongings. We'll make for Vastir once Wait, there is arrived. a sky shard down here. Hidden sky shard. That's a Nern route. Not a sky shard. This is a great area for harvesting. Yeah, I feel like no one knows about Kingdom Come. All Bastion knows is a good area for harvesting. I think it's at like the bottom of the waterfall. Oh, it's up there. How do I get up there? Do I have to climb up these stones? Surely not. Oh, okay. Nope, that's not working. I think we've got to go around Bastion. Follow me. Up here. This is the way. Feels like I'm going out of the map here. This area looks a bit unfinished. Some weird grass textures. Look, what what is this? I don't know if I should go this way. Oh look, there it is. Neat. This is the secret area for the sky shard. My suit. Did anyone else see the mini gun Skyrim challenge? What's that? Oh, is it Spiffing Brit doing another medieval game where he like uses a gun or something? there quite a bit. I've not seen that one though. I saw his one on Mansa Blade. Okay, I think there's like a big ass marsh down here. Is there like a small pool of water? Oh, mate, I tried to turn around. I'm still alive! We made it! What are you talking about? It was fine. Let's go. Look at this energy. You cannot compete. I never quite jump, but I always just fall. Yay! Oh, actually, excuse me, sir. I need to sell you some stuff. Uh, here we go. I don't need any of this. Uh... I don't, do I actually know this yet? Do I need this? Oh, hello. I don't want to press that. There we go. Come back here. I was not done selling you stuff, you silly codger. Fiery I don't need any of this stuff. I will keep the ring and the purple stuff. I'm going to sell you these. Ah, no, I didn't mean to sell that. Where'd it go? Give it back to me, you fool. I need these materials. Phoenix moth. Oh, so you can collect things by selling them. I did not know that. That's interesting. It's good to note. See you later, mate. Hello there. Hang on. Let's talk. I'm right here. Light. I saw a group of dread sails and fire song enter the cave just as I arrived. Really? Not sure if they spotted free or simply got curious. But this isn't good. We need to get in there. Free and the seed are in danger. I assume you can beat Skyrim with a minigun, yes. Is there anything besides free that the fire song would want in there? Not that I'm aware of. 
There are some druid carvings and such, but I haven't had a chance to study them. The whole place is overgrown with vegetation. All those carrots. The cave did fascinate Free, though. Something kept drawing them back here. I, I think uh, there's another YouTuber, I can't remember his name. Um, ah, damn it. But he does like, can you beat Skyrim with like a knife and fork, for example. Um, I think his videos are more creative. Like, can you finish the Mages Guild without magic? Like, that's really hard. Um, I don't know if it was possible, but I recall him doing that. And there's like one, there's a couple of quests where you have to use magic. So I can't remember how he got past them, but it's quite interesting. I think he probably used like the wooden plate glitch or something. Um, but yeah, minigun is kind of quite straightforward. I think the knife and fork one's a bit funnier. I made a build ages ago with the, uh, the knife and fork being a cannibal, essentially. The arch druid said, you came here with free. A few times, yes. I'd try to clean up a little while Free looked around. Sometimes they'd sit and meditate for long stretches. When we find them, this time I'm going to ask what that was all about. Okay, let's just find them. She's probably dead. Can you beat the boss Karstag with a mage build? Yeah, I think so. It's hard. <laughs> Yeah, you can only use ice spells. I was last here. That, or the fire song has been tearing things down. That would be funny. What is this? They made big... their choices. So be it. Wait, Vine's covered that section before. What does it say? Is that free? It's like a volcano. And those are weirds around them. What does it mean? I thought she learned with the Jurids. Surely she must know some of these, like, cave drawings and their meanings. Look, another marking. We need to examine it. Why do we need to examine it? You don't know what any of it is. This looks like a flower or something exploding. Yes, the sacred seeds. There we go. And free, growing them into a crown. A staff and a gauntlet. Let's keep looking. Oh, damn. We get weapons from this quest line? That's pretty cool. It's pretty spicy. Yeah, we'll go up here. Another a druid holding the staff and gauntlet. And Free places the crown upon their head, just like I in the prophecy. We need to find Free. Now. Where is the gauntlet? Where is the druid? Where is the staff? Is that that might be the staff? That long stick. Is that the druid? Dude, I you can just say whatever you like. I don't even know what we're looking at here. Or oh, is a secret chest though? Maybe this is where they hid the seed. Maybe it's in here. Who knows? <gasps> oh my god, it's the nice seed. Hole. I know, man. We solved the quest early. Easy. Stalrim for making Nordic items. Look, a ward protects that far door. Did Free cast that? We need to find a way to open it. A puzzle. I like a good puzzle. Free used an ancient druid trick. I've seen this before. There should be two druid stones in here. If we turn them, the ward should disappear. There should be another stone nearby. Let's look around. I did something. It must be correct now. Press E. Such a hard... Wow. Man, really That's difficult it. puzzle. The door should be open now. Really? Man, thank God that um, the druids only have half a brain cell and rotate some rocks. Otherwise, we never would have made it in there. It was actually that simple. <laughs> Come on, man. You can make the puzzles harder than this. Maybe they wanted us to get in here. That's the only possible answer, Eric. Oh, it's a, it's a chest. A simple chest. Perfect for a simple-minded Jurid. You don't find any master chests in the Jurid's lair. Too difficult. Who's this? Is this an enemy? 
It's a spider. Look, that's free on the other side of the chamber. I can see. Thank the green. Okay. Let's go. I assume there's going to be some kind of boss fight or something. Hello there, free. You okay? It worked. Secrets remain buried. Well done. You weird creature, you. They gnash with sharpened teeth, claw at the doors. But now, druid laurel, lavender and wood smoke, familiar. And you, battle on the touch of leaves. I kept seed safe, but protections wither. Free, you okay? What is this place? I don't understand anything you say. Free is free. Place made by Druid King. Sang to me. The walls taught me. Oh, okay. Told me who I am. Yeah. The sower of the sacred seeds. Curator of the regalia. When season is the right. Druid King. I will grow them from the seeds. Oh, okay. Expected the seed to be safe here. It was not. It's because you're an idiot. It wasn't safe here. Oh, this, she said she's going to grow the seeds when the season is right. That's interesting. So she learned something from those those stone drawings on the wall. But it's, it seems to be different to what the Fire Song are planning to do. Are the seeds really the regalia of the Druid King? The Druid King called free from the green. Bound us to one day reforge the regalia. Sow the seeds when three circles become one. That is my purpose. A tender to the garden. But events are uncertain. The seed is not safe. Even here. What can we do? The Stone Lord Druids are going to Vestir to defend the city. The seed should be safe there. We're going to put all the seeds, or the two seeds we have. The Fire Song have their own seed, obviously. We're going to put the other two seeds into this city where everyone's planning to attack. And we're more than definitely going to be betrayed there. And then the Fire Song will end up with all these seeds. I guarantee you that's the plot. Good. I am thinned. Okay. Tired. Wilting. I have grown too tall. Hey, when Take that the happens. seed to Archdruid Raval. His to nourish now. To protect. Slip with it. The seed rests just over there. Safe. Waiting. A quiet and strong thing, resting in different hands. Give it to Archdruid Raval when we leave here, to take it into the unnatural walls. The unnatural walls? What the hell are you on about, lady? Is it is ESO paid every month? So ESO has a subscription, which I actually highly recommend, because basically, so you don't have to pay. You can just buy the game and play it for free for as long as you want. The base game is only like $10 these days. Um, but if you get the subscription, you get access to all the DLC and content for f like while you're subscribed. You also get the ESO craft bag, which is essential to do crafting in this game. Uh, you literally can't... Cr like, if you want to craft stuff, then like you have to have it, basically. Um, and you also get plus 10% experience boost. Um, I think there's... Yeah, you get like 1,000 crowns each month, which is the in-game currency. But it's not really, it's not like pay to win, but you can use that currency to then buy a DLC that you might want to play while you're not subscribed in the future, if that makes sense. Uh, so you can save up that currency to buy other stuff or even cosmetics, um, like skins and mounts and stuff. Um, yeah, so you don't have to pay, but I'd honestly recommend it. It's the best way to play. You said the Jury King created this place. Yes, long ago. It was a sanctuary, lost to time. But it held answers, the truths of me. The longer I stayed, the more I learned, remembered. My hands alone can ordain. I grow the seeds. What did you mean, when the three circles become one? That was what the Druid King told me. What the dream tells us all. When the Druids are ready to be whole. 
I'm awake, but the she season is wrong, so that, that she's not ready river. yet. Not fractured. But you get to choose not a new Druid King. I do not know. I just know that I alone can grow the seeds. Okay. A ritual, hallowed ground, three sacred seeds, three powerful symbols. They will sprout a crown, a staff, and a gauntlet. The Druid King's regalia. Perhaps for a new king to wield? Are the regalia some sort of magical relics? I mean, mythic items. Can I collect them? Magic? No. Not like you're thinking. Symbols of office, authority. Only I can grow. Only I can sow the yeah, seeds. Yeah, me, me, me. Self, self, self. I get it. Only you can grow the Still, seeds. We must keep the seeds safe. Yeah, I know. Okay. You get good free. But you look exhausted. Return to Glimmer with the seed. Fine. I'm going to throw this seed into the, the mountain of fire Laurel and destroy the one ring the so the Druid King can never return. I think that's the ultimate story. That would lead to the best ending. We had that choice. What is this? What is these spiderweb things here? Where am I? Got to go through this little hole into the garden. Oh yeah, this game's massively better than it was in 2014. They basically connected all the universes and worlds so that you could just play with your friends whenever you wanted and travel with them. And the game just became infinitely better, obviously. A soul gem and a pumpkin? Some spoiled food? I'll take that. What's this? Why is this here anyway? It's just like an old hovel. What a view. Look at this place. God damn. Oh, damn. Right, we gotta go travel back over here to... Let's hit the trail. Let's hit the trail. Oh no, is it too high? Oh! That was close. That was very close. I'm going the wrong way, Bastion. You idiot. So many cool areas in this map. I'm a big fan. You can do crafting in the game without the craft bag. Did not exist, but found... Yeah, you can do crafting in the game without the craft bag, but man, it would be a nightmare. Especially if a new player. Like, you just... You wouldn't know where to find things. I like and... places where things have happened, even if they were sad things. That's deep. It's really deep. The Stone deep. Lord have pledged themselves to the defense of Astia. We leave shortly. This guy looks like a dinosaur. Look at this guy. Mate, this is sick. What is this gold skin from? It looks like a combination of two skin sets. Big fan. Oh, the gauntlets are from the Sigic guild, right? What is that shoulder? I like the off shoulder. Our brothers and sisters have arrived, summoned by the beacon. We're just about ready to make the trip to Bastia. We will help defend the walls, and in turn, the walls will defend our injured. Now... Free tells me you'll carry our secret seed. Yes, here is the seed. Despite the efforts of the Fire Song and the Sea Elf allies, we still possess our sacred seed. I fear this means that the assault on Bastia will begin soon. Now, uh, Sir Stefan, here. That bodes ill. Perhaps you should speak to him, Druidkin. Good. Once we hear Stefan's news, I'll order our druids to head for the city. I think. Good. I made it before you headed out. Friend, we need to speak. Thank the green I caught you here. I feared I might be too late. The message I bring was too important to give to just anyone. And I know paths across the island that only the druids can walk. But first, what's the situation here? This knight looks really upset and angry that he had to come here. Archdruid Rafal has the sacred seed and has agreed to bring it to Stone Lord to help defend the city. I hoped I could count on Archdruid Raval, but it's good to hear those words. Even with the secret paths, though, it was difficult avoiding our enemies. The wilderness is thick with dread sails and fire song. I assume you helped settle things here. Indeed I did. I alert the bink beacons of Gondor and stopped the fire song from finding the free. I knew you were the right one to send to Glimmer Time. Thank you for helping Laurel. You're a most valuable ally. Here, take this. The least I can do for your continued efforts. Meanwhile, I'll make sure Raval and the Seed get to Vastir safely. 
This shield looks really cool. It's got like some wood around it. Now to the reason I came here to find you. I made contact with Captain Siravain. She agreed to help defend Vastir, but only if she can recover her ship from the Dread Sails. We'll have to hurry. I fear the Sea Elves and the Fire Song will strike soon. Uh, Diablo 4, will I play it when it comes out? Well, it comes out the day after the Elder Scrolls Online chapter, so I kind of have to choose if I'll play this or Diablo 4. I don't actually know what I'll do yet, to be honest with you. How did you get in touch with Captain Saravan? Well, truth be told, she contacted me. Easier to get a message to Castle Mernard than to find a sea elf hiding in the wilderness. When Sea Lord Nalos rejected King Orgnum's orders, he seized Siravain's ship and scattered her crew. She needs our help. Why send me? Specifically, she requested I send you to help her. She'll meet <laughs> you on the Castle Tener docks on the western shore. Do whatever you need to, but make sure she recovers her ship. We need the Gilded Blades when the assault on Bastyr begins. She sent, she asked for me because I'm the only person who can do anything. Go to the docks near Castle Tener and help Captain Siravain recover her vessel. I'll escort Archdruid Raval back to Vastir and incorporate the druids into our defenses. Join us there as soon as you can. By the green, we will weather this storm. Did Captain Siravan say anything else? Her message was brief, but she indicated that most of her crew was missing as well. Scattered or captured, she'll need them back to sail her ship. And Pretty we need bleak. all of the Gilded Blades to help defend the city. Do whatever you can to make that happen. Archdruid Raval, are you and the Stone Lord ready to depart for Vestia? Right behind you, partner. We are. Laurel, take free and hide in the wilderness. They cannot fall into Orlais' hands. But I... Yes, Archdruid. I understand. Man, she's had enough of hanging out with that tree lady. She's done. Look at that jump. That was a leap. Okay, so we gotta go over here. Confirm Marina. I mean, surely every MMO in game chat looks the same to me. You can also get add ons and stuff to change it and customize it too. And in fact, Minion that they use for the Elder Scrolls Online is the same add on manager that, um, that Elder Scrolls, that World of Warcraft uses, sorry. Oh, so now we have to go in here. Okay. Do I have to go up there? What's up? Aha. Dishonorable wretches. If they've scratched one piece of her hull, I'll make them suffer. Ah, so the Lordling got my message. I doubted he'd turn down the idea of having my ship at his side, but one can never be too Second certain. Second error. Now, I hope you came prepared to fight. Things are about to get ugly. I intend to make sure of it. Sir so Stefan says you needed help getting your ship back. A bit embarrassing. That's right. See it down there? Those bastards chained the Mad Maiden to the dock and placed maiden. my crew under guard. The Dread Sails have already set sail for Vastir. If you want my help in the battle, I need both my ship and my crew. What do you need me to do? We need to work in tandem. I'll get my crew while you free the Mad Maiden. Cut the mooring lines and drop the harbor chain so we're ready to set sail the moment my crew is free. They left some slimy eels on guard. Think you're up for it? <laughs> I knew you had salt water in your blood. Easy. Cut the four moorings binding my ship. Then head to the far dock to release the harbor chain so we can sail to Vastir. Let's go. Remember, the moorings need to be cut and the harbor chain needs to be dropped or we're not going anywhere. Take care of that, then we can sail for Vastir. Your lordling will need all the help he can get to withstand the coming assault. How do they capture your ship anyway? It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? When Sea Lord Nalos rejected the orders I brought from King Orgnum, he didn't have the decency to kill me. He seized my ship and scattered my crew so I couldn't do a damn thing about it. Some were sent to serve on other ships, but most were locked up. Traitors. I'll meet you on the deck of the Mad Maiden. Don't mess this up. Okay, I'll meet you down there. Let's go. Oh no! Ah, oh, I almost made it to the water. It was so close that time. Hey! Pay for what, Bastion? What are you talking about, mate? This was a massive shortcut. We're literally there. Like, I can sneak by the guards because I'm an undead ghost now. 
This is very tactical. In fact, it couldn't have played out any better, to be honest with you. Let's go. Right, so where are these mooring lines? There we go. We just chop it, get my axe out. Bam. Oh, the sound effects. Satisfying. Good job. Where's the next one? In here. Chop, chop, chop. There's another one up here for some reason. There's a guy fishing down there, so it should be pretty easy to do. Oh, I missed one. Did I miss one? What the hell? How did I miss that? I swear I chopped this one. Right, one more on the far corner. And then we can still back this great vessel. We'll take out some guards here. I'm behind you. Aha! Surprise. Come on, kill him, Bastion. You can do it. Fools, throw yourselves against my blade. Okay. I didn't hear any fighting. Oh, how do I get in the ship? We have to go back round to enter it. Uh, oh yeah, there's an entrance there. Playing Sea Elves in Elder Scrolls 6. I mean, I don't even know if they're in Hammerfell. I don't think they'll be added to the game, to be honest with you. By the time Elder Scrolls 6 happens in the timeline, because I assume it's going to be chronological, we would actually... Um, well, Snow Elves, as we know them, would be pretty dead. Pretty extinct. In theory, they might still write another one in. Oh, we have to go over there to that ship. We're on the wrong ship, bro. Can I jump over this? Oh, that's so painful. Where the hell do I have to swim to? All the way around there. Are you at High Rock? No, this is in the... The Sistress Isles in the archipelago. Correct. Alright, so we have to get all the way around here. Make a CR race with the DLC chapter after this year. I reckon a new weapon skill line would be really cool. But hard to do. Hard to balance, hard to do. I think they had lots of opportunities to do something, though. I mean, Daggerfall used to have spears, right? Makes sense to bring back. I don't know if they want to add that level of complexity to the game. Who knows? Also, what, what damage type of spears have that we don't already have? Hello there. Get wrecked. Where am I going? Just over here, at the end of this dock. So this is the launch, the, hab the harbor chain. Let's go and board the Mad Maiden. Who doesn't want to board the Mad Maiden? I run all the way back round to get onto the ship now. Goodness me! I could see why she didn't want to do my job of doing all the hard work. A katana weapon skill would be cool. Yeah, I mean, if they finally went to Akavir, then that would make sense. But otherwise, uh, I don't know. I see the moorings have been cut. What about the harbor chain? Mate, oh, everything's done. Let's go. We're aboard my ship and I have my crew. What about the harbor chain? If it's still in place, this will be a very short trip. It's been released and so is everything else. Let's go. Mad Maiden is faster than any ship in the Dread Sails Armada. We'll get there in time. And then Sea Lord Nalos and I will have words. Sharp, bloody words. Wait below deck until we dock. The rest of you, weigh anchor. Set sail for Vastir. Everyone, go. to your stations. 
Mercenary, get below decks and stay out of the way. Next port, Bastille. Look at those trashy little beads they have on their outfits. Collecting seashells and stuff. All those sailors. I miss your Hunt Showdown streams. Oh, dude, that game was legendary. I miss that game as well. I guess it's, it's just, like, I play FPS games a lot in my spare time. Like, I play a lot of Valorant now. Um, but I just don't stream it because it's not really... No dread sales get past your blade. Let's go. Oh, my God. You has begun. One Quickly hit killed him. Oh, my God. They're on the run. We'll deal with these lordling. Gilded blades forward. Dude, that was Friend, sick. Let's go. To find my father. Oh, she's very epic. Wow, she just got double kill with that one throw? How are you doing this? Oh, do I have to do the rest? Okay, okay. That was it. That was all the help we got, boys, but I appreciate it. Attack! We've got Bastion with us, so this should be easy. Let's go. I'm grateful you to the cathedral. We'll be safe there. There. Father, how goes the battle? Not well. The city's been overrun. That's because Lord Barker back Caro is here. Count Mornard can tell you where you'll be most useful. I need to keep directing people away from the fighting. They'll be safer inside the cathedral. No, they won't. I think it's a trap. We shouldn't trust this man, gentlemen. This man is a traitor. I'm sure of it. I'm glad to see you and Stefan. We could use your strength. My knights and the druids have been holding their own. But the sea elves, they arrived in such numbers. I need you to find the arch druids. I think the dread sails are hunting them. Why would the dread sails be hunting the arch druids? We heard some of their warbands talking. Something about finding the druid relics. I'm glad for the warriors. But did they have to bring their damn religion into my city too? <laughs> anyway, I need you to find arch druids Revol and Elec. This guy's Keep definitely safe. not involved. Where should I look for the Arch Druids? I'm not sure about Revol, but I saw Arch Druid Elec heading for the old Druid tunnels. Follow those, and you should find him. Lord Bokaro and I are taking people to the cathedral. Besides the castle, it's the most defensible place in the city. Head east, and you'll find an entrance to the old Druid tunnels. Damn things were here long before we built the city. If you find Elec and Revol, send them to the cathedral. We're gathering all the non-combatants there for their safety. Oh Send no! Send the wounded and any non-combatants to the cathedral. They'll be safe there. I don't know Damn if that's a safe place. Reavers. If they're not, if they're not safe there, we know that's definitely he's a traitor. With them. Die. Thanks, Bastion, for your help. You son of a gun. Real men play cop. The, my father <laughs> the sea elves are already here. We must find Arch Druid Elec. I feel like COD uh, is pretty unbalanced in the best battle. But it's good fun. And who doesn't like a, a watching a bit of Doctor Disrespect as well? He's very entertaining. Get wrecked, son. I thought I was gonna die. You were gonna die, but I was here to save you. No sign of Arch Druid Elec. He must have been chased out. Let's keep going. Away, sea elf. I will not fall to you. <laughs> He's just Arch got a Druid shield Elec, again. Take heart. We're with you. Pretend shield that doesn't work. Oh, nice dodge. Thank you. I couldn't hold out much longer. Oh, thank you. My strength almost left me at the end. But I... I failed. I wasn't able to stop them from taking our sacred oh. seed. It's gone. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Knew this would happen. Does he still have the Stone Law Seed, though? The other Arch Druid? 
I don't know. I uh, dare They got you separated. But they're going after Raval as well. He's gonna die. You have to find him. We cannot let the Fire Song lay claim to all three of the sacred seeds. There's no telling what would happen. All right, Lord Baraka is gathering people in the cathedral. Go there. The House of the City Gods? Yes, of course. I'll head there immediately. The wall should offer adequate protection. Now go. Help Archdruid Raval. Any idea where he is? Well, they've barricaded the main streets, but there's a shortcut to the west and up the stairs. Head that way and see if you can find him. Be careful. You have the strength of mountains, but even the sea can wear down stone. If Ray's I... grace guide you quickly to Raval's side. Archdruid Elec, allow me to escort you to the cathedral. Friend, I'll rejoin you once the arch. The day will be ours. Dude, they had one job to protect these bloody stones. Well, look who you found. Care for another blade at your side? <laughs> Where's she going? You can follow along if you want, but I don't think it might be very useful. Unless you have more of that cool anime stuff where you kill two people with one stone. That was impressive. Oh, can I finally go into the cathedral? Or the courtyard? Nice. We can enter through the gates the there he is champion face me and die face me and die time to pay for turning the dread sails into traitors look how screwed this guy is man he's got his back to my surprise attacks oh he's running away you noob Tell me when you're ready. I'm not do afraid it. of you. Do your thing now. Whatever it is. Oh, nice. She just goes up there and kicks him down. That's cool. Very creative. Yeah, Rex, son. That's for my brother, you worthless eel, and for our king. Look how Epson, the epic, the captains. Look at this place. God damn, it looks so cool. Hammond, thanks for the donation, dude. What models are you hoping to see from Warhammer Fest? Bra, mate. I tuned in this morning, excited for the Lord of the Rings Middle Earth miniatures, and the miniatures said they only they were like hyping it up like they had something to reveal. They only revealed one thing, but the guy was like, um, the guy said that they have a lot more to show in Middle Earth, but they're like, their, their hands are apparently tied and they can't reveal much yet. So they kind of just showed, uh, you know that scene from Lord of the Rings when they've got the, um, in the Fellowship of the Ring, when the, the Ring Wraith is on the road and the hobbits are hiding under the tree. They made like a cool diorama one. But you could take the ring wraith um, off his horse sort of diorama and use him separately, which is pretty cool. There's some other cool stuff I'm excited for too, but I don't want to go too off topic. Archdruid Orlais, return the sacred seeds. Let Raval and the seeds go, Orlais. You have lost Raval. Today your blood allows the dream to come to pass. Druidkin. You must protect free! Silence! Oh, Raval! Damn you! Damn. A new age of green begins here. That was cool. Oh, you see? He's a be he betrayed them! No! He betrayed them. We meet, you will bow to me, the new druid king. Let's see about that. See, Lord Baraka. I need help with things like this. Find me when you're finished. <laughs> she just runs away. She's like, I'm not an emotional woman. I'm going to leave now. You see, Lord Baraka, whatever his name is, got everyone in the cathedral, so they died. And I guarantee you, he's still alive. I guarantee it. Because he's a traitor. We single-handedly wiped out the entire city. Well done. 
Look, he's still alive! No! Help me! <laughs> we have to dig them out! I barely escaped the collapse. God, how did this happen? Bruh, he is such a traitor. How are we not killing him right now? Everyone else died apart from him. Come on. This is so blatant. It was already pretty obvious, I think, in the first chapter, but there was only very subtle hints. Whereas now, this is just like so clearly obvious. Come on, he's the bad guy. He's going to be like the Lord Warden, surely. The cathedral. It happened so fast. I, I barely escaped the falling stone. I arrived with the last of the wounded when everything started to shake. The Count and Archdruidelic, they were right in front of me. They... Oh, no. Tell me what you saw, Lord Bakare. It was terrible. The building started to shake and the stones above trembled. I yelled for everyone to run for the doors. I threw them open. Then the floor fell away. I must have blacked out. Yeah, yeah. When my head cleared... I was outside. Oh yeah, you blacked out. Get out of here. You didn't black out. You shut the doors behind you yourself and trapped everyone in there. <laughs> he was like mass assassination. I know a mass assassination when I see one. This guy Dream ripped. preserve us. First arched with Raval and now. Now my father. My father's under all that rubble. Please, you have to help me. There must be survivors. Why are you just standing there? Stefan, they're gone, mate. No, you're wrong. You must be. Stand there if you like, but I won't abandon them. I refuse to leave them. My father, Archdruid Raval, even Archdruid Alec. All gone. This can't be. How could this happen? There's a traitor in our midst. There was nothing we could do to stop the cathedral from collapsing. No, we could have not let Lord Baracko send everyone there. Small comfort to the survivors. And to the dead. Apologies, my friend. I need a, I need a moment to collect myself. There are things to do, but... I saw Sarah Vane go toward the gate. Find her before she vanishes. We could still use her help. He's a very sad boy. Look at this traitor. Look at him. Traitor. Right, where's the gate at? Uh, oh, you gotta go through here. Yeah, the voice acting in the Elder Scrolls Online is always on point. So that's like, what, as far as MMOs go, this like is by far one of the best voice acted ones. Red Bandit, thanks for the donation, bro. Do you think Elder Scrolls 6 takes place in High Rock and Hammerfell or just Hammerfell? I think I'm 99% sure it's it's going to be Hammerfell. I wouldn't be surprised if it's also High Rock. I mean, based on... They did a tweet ages ago and they placed the candles on a map of um, near the border of Skyrim. And one of those candles was placed in High Rock. So there's a chance that High Rock's going to be included. I wouldn't be surprised as well if it's based around the Adamantium Tower. I did like a whole lore video on this. If you wanna, if you type in like Elder Scrolls 6 uh, lore video or I don't know what I named it to be honest. But um, I've done like two big lore videos talking about my theory about what the story is going to be. Um, sort of evolving around. Could be right, could be wrong, but I think Hammerfell 100% for sure. But High Rock is a question mark. Well, you won the day. The city is safe. Doesn't feel much like a victory, though, does it? Did you talk to the Lordling? I doubt he's faring well. Death always cuts the softest ones deepest. Oh, you seem pretty cop. I'll try not to celebrate Narlos's demise too loudly. What happened to the rest of the Dread Sailors? My people are like a pack of wild dogs. With a strong leader to guide us, we'll fight to our last breath. But without one, our fury dissipates. Once Sea Lord Narlos fell and the Fire Songs abandoned them, the remaining Dreadsails fled. 
<laughs> that's that's a nice way of putting like yeah they all abandoned the cause <laughs> after their leader died sir stefan wants you to stick around we could use your help you've bigger things to worry about than my intentions but the lordling is right you do need me look you helped recover my ship and crew helped me kill nolos why don't you head to the castle check on the lordling I'm not going anywhere. I really like uh, her character. It's really cool. Are you happy that Sea, sea Lord Nalos is dead? Death should never make anyone happy. Sea Lord Nalos had to die. Simple as that. Am I glad that my blade tasted his blood at the end? Yes. I had a vow to fulfill, and now it's done. Hammerfell isn't just desert, actually. Your vow to your king? To King Orgnum. Yes, and to my brother. I hope Nalos saw my brother's face as we cut him down. Now go take care of your own mercenary. I'm sure the Lordling could use a friend right now. Oh, hello. There's a big crowd forming. But they go through here. Into the noble district. The fancy district. Right behind you, partner. Head over to the castle. The manor house. Please, I'm looking for Dame Fado. Well, she was with the knights protecting the cathedral district during the attack. She's dead. We're still... I got Sir Stefan to return to the castle. Talk to me before you go see him. Horrible. So much death. So much suffering. Young Stefan lost two fathers today, and the city lost even more. I keep asking myself why I survived when so many others perished. Because he's a traitor. But I wanted to talk to you before you go in to see Sir Stefan. Is Sir Stefan all right? That is unclear. He lost a father today, as well as a mentor that was just as precious to him. We may have won this battle, but Arch Druid Orlaith has all three sacred seeds. Speak with Stefan, Count Monard now. He must decide how we move forward. This lady doesn't care, look. She doesn't give a crap about all this happening. There you are. I apologize for my behavior earlier. So much death and destruction this day. I can't believe my father and Archdruid Raval are gone. Two men who shaped me, snuffed out like two candles in a strong wind. And now Archdruid Orlaith has all three seeds. By the green, what are we to do? Will this stream be uploaded after? Yes, this one will. Fancy yourself an alchemist, hmm? Never could get the hang of that. Solitude God. <laughs> the dread cells have broken off the siege at least, and Seed Lord Nalos is dead. Yeah, that's something. That's some good news. Focusing on what we've won rather than what we've lost is the only way to not fall into despair. Bastyr still stands, safe because of our efforts. And though we've been dealt a terrible blow, all hope is not lost. By the green. What do you think we should do now? By honoring the legacy of my two mentors, my father and Archdruid Raval. Now that Vastir is safe, we can concentrate on stopping the Fire Song. But before that, you helped save my city from utter ruin. Take this with my heartfelt thanks. Is this your father's sword, Count Leonard's great blade? Hailing yourself from an ally grants target minor courage and minor force 10 seconds. Increasing their weapon and spell damage and critical down by 10%. It's not bad. Dozens of people lie dead in the cathedral's rubble. Rip. Including my father. I know I must carry on. Yet Archdruid Orlaith, she also took my mentor. The person I counted on my whole life. She murdered Raval. 
We must end Orlaith's madness. Somehow. Do you have something in mind? Battle. I can't leave Vastir. Someone has to pick up the pieces, and that responsibility now falls on me. Find Druid Laurel. She needs to know that Archdruids Raval and Elec are dead. That Orlaith and the Firesong have the sacred seeds. What do you think Archdruid Orlath will do next? She told us as the cathedral collapsed. She's going to proclaim herself the new Druid King. But while she has the seeds, she still needs the sower. Indeed. Free has a part to play in all this, but they'll need your help. Find them, friend. Keep them safe. Keep them secret. Keep them safe. I'll find the Druid and Free and tell them what happened here. Laurel and Free remained at Glimmertarn to direct Stonelore stragglers and to avoid the fire song. Make speed, friend. If Archdruid Orlaith seeks the sower mentioned in the dream, both Laurel and Free are in danger. I can't bear to lose Laurel too. The yellow is horrendous, I agree. It's really off-putting. It's like, hey, hit me in the crotch, I have no armor here. It's like, why? Why is it so yellow? What caused the cathedral to collapse? Obviously it had something to do with the quake we experienced, but why only one structure fell, I just hmm. don't know. It does show that the volcano is becoming more dangerous. Raval said it was because the Fire Song were neglecting their duties. What's the connection between the Fire Song and the Mount Fire Song? Well, until recently, Fire Song druids rarely left Ephelon. They communed with Mount Fire Song's spirit, singing it back to sleep when it grew restless. Or so I was taught by the Stone Lore. They've always been secretive about their vigil on Ephelon. Did he wake up the volcano, the Arch Druid? Mount Firesong has rumbled my entire life. I wonder if it was the stirring of the volcano that woke Orlaith instead. Could be, could be. So we've got to go back to Glimmerden and uh, speak to the woodland creature. Let's hit the trail. That armor is really cool, I agree, but like. I don't know why the pants are yellow, because that's that just ruins it. If they were black, or any other color for that matter, like, I don't know. Even like a dark yellow would just look better, because the, the bright yellow just looks super unrealistic. Like, why is his pants so yellow? Don't understand. Alright, let's go. Let me use the waste shrine, thank you. We have to go here, don't we? I believe it was. Let's try it. I need to do the Firestone quest line. I loved High Owls. To be honest, I think this is better than High Owls. And High Owls, the chapter was okay, but I, I think it got better towards the end. And then it like ended, and I was like, okay. But this is a lot better. Um, but the storyline has been quite straightforward, like in terms of guessing who the bad guy is. Well, I wonder who it is, sort of thing. I think um, Zenimax Fury... Give Tarbo's treasure to the debt collector. Such a shame. Sorry, who are you? Can I kill you? Bastion doesn't like it when I assassinate people. That's only bad thing. Friend, what news of Bastir? Why are the spirits of the island in such distress? Why don't you speak properly? The very spirits all around us cry out in fear and sorrow. Even Free says they sense a change in the Sacred Seeds. Tell me about the battle in Vastir. Is Stefan alright? I fear something terrible has happened. Stefan was the only survivor, but Count Bernard was killed, and so was Archdruid Rahal and Alaric. Archdruid Raval is dead? I... I knew something had gone wrong. The spirits of nature that surround Glimmer Tarn were acting so strangely. But if the Archdruids are dead, what happened to the sacred seeds? Catman riding a flaming steed. Those pants are unrealistic. Touche. Sorry, I know your father just died in the building, but first, why are your pants yellow? <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the DLC. Yeah, it's having a good fun at the moment. Because he is happy, little bumblebee. <laughs> Archdruid Orolath murdered Raval and took Elrontide and Stone Lord seeds.
Blight and damnation. Free told me they sensed the seeds stirring, moving. I couldn't think of any good reason to account for that, and neither could Free. But what about Vastir? Does the city still stand? Yes, we defeated the Sea Lord Nalos and drove the remaining dread sails. The city is safe now. At least something good has come of all this. But poor Stefan. His father wasn't a friend to the druids, but he mostly left us alone, unlike some of his predecessors. Free said they felt the seeds calling. Maybe they can help us track them down. When Archdroid Orolith took the seed, she said that was going to become that she was going to become the new Druid king. I knew this had to do with the prophecy, the dream Obviously. of Kasserain. But for anyone to proclaim themselves the Druid king, even an Archdruid, it's just unheard of. That isn't how it's supposed to work. Talk to Free. Talk to Free. See if they still sense the seeds. Well, with Archdruid Ravil dead, who leads the Stone Law Circle? I... I don't know. And you do. And other Archdruids died in the attack on the Dreyfa. At some point, I'll need to send for an Elder or Archdruid from High Isle. But for now, we're on our own. In the meantime, I'll do my best to lead the way Rival taught me. I assume she becomes the Archdruid King or whatever, the new one. Oh, there you are. You were blending in with the ground there. How are you? That which dreamed through seasons uncounted now awakens. Ah. The sacred seeds sing to me. Hmm. Together now, they find their voice. They tell me to come to them. Soon, I must answer. Traitor, can you lead us to the sacred seeds? You do not hear their song? I hear it. Yes, I can guide you to the seeds. They are my purpose. I cannot be kept from my purpose. Bound. Yet, there is choice. What is your purpose? To stop the Archdroid Orlath and return the seeds to you. Where are they? In the direction of the rising sun. Pfft. The point right. on the isle where that first happens. Okay, cool. I will help you find the seeds and keep them. Safe. Until crown, staff, and gauntlet must flower. That time is soon. It is not for me to tell seeds not to grow. All right, let's go find them. Go, friend. Oh, we're friends. Toward nice. the sunrise. Toward the song. I will walk with Druid Laurel, and we shall meet you by the sanctum of the last Druid King, Ivyhaim. Can the Archdruid Orolaf force you to grow the seeds? If this is the appointed season, the seeds will grow. If it is not, no power can make them act against their nature. Go on ahead. Convenient. Free and I will meet you near Ivy Hain. This is where the setting sun is apparently, guys. Let's go. To the setting sun! Or is it the rising sun? Oh no. Opposite direction. Is ear so still grindy? I've never found it to be grindy, to be honest. In what way did you think it was grindy? And then I can let you know if that's changed or not. An outsider. Like, as far as leveling up goes, why is he still calling me an outsider? Like, seriously, bro, have I not helped your people enough? But uh, as far as leveling up goes, I find, like, there's so much story content, you can literally just go through the whole story and you will slowly reach max level. But if you want to that? grind out experience really quickly, then there's other effective ways of doing that. Like the dailies, um, just farming mobs, doing dolmen runs and so on. So it really depends on, on like what you think is grindy, and how you want to play the game. I think in like for example, my wife right now is playing Aeon, the relaunched old school Aeon version, um, and she's been with her guild almost at max level, uh, which is level. Whoa, what is this? Look at this mad fire tub. Why is my dude just there on the f like fishing in the lava? Can you actually catch anything there? Oh, I have to go the other way. Yay! This area is really cool with the jungle and lava and stuff. Very awesome. The deep jungle. Fight! Good. 
I have some coming and going as bold as you please. Or Lath is up to something. If you're dodging skills capping for PvP, it can be grinding. Or such as the Dawn Guild skill line. Bastion, save me. Save me from this interloper. Thank you. If <laughs> Uh, what do you mean, like PvP specifically can be grindy? Who takes care of your mod pack for Skyrim because it's outdated and makes a lot of crashes at the moment? Uh, Dolched is currently taking care of that on Discord, on the Discord server, so you can ask him about it. Um, how updated is it though? I don't think it needs much of an update. At least it didn't the last time I was trying it out. Is the next Elder Scroll game still presumed to be Hammerfell? Yeah, definitely. Like certain. Be careful. There are more Fire Song Druids here than I expected. Archdruid Orlaith must be planning something big to bring this many of her circle from Ivalon. Are you sure that she's stored the sacred seeds here? Free senses the seeds within the veil. After all the trouble Orlaith caused to get them, she won't let them out of her sight. There's a door at the heart of Ivyhame. A place of the Druid King. It hasn't been opened in centuries. Maybe she's there? What's on the other side of this door? The Ivy Throne. Ah! Or so the legends say. Where the last Druid King held court. That would make sense. If she really seeks to become the new King, that's a good place to start. You and Free check out the door while I scout the rest of the Vale. I'll catch up with you later. Alright, I'll while find... While I take a look around the rest of the Vale. You and Free find the door to the Ivy Throne. You've just said it's that. east of here. Almost to the coast. We need to find what is the Ivy Throne? For all my time studying the history of Druid King Kasserain, that's been one of my primary questions. God. Is the Ivy Throne a metaphor? Is there an actual throne? Like the one High King Emmerich sits upon? We just don't know for sure. Why don't you know? Because so many of our records have been lost. It's because you don't have paper. The Druids were almost wiped out a number of times in our history. I'm not surprised. And the Druid King's sanctum in Ivyheim has been sealed since his death. No one has passed through that door in countless seasons. If the door can't be opened, how can she be inside? We shouldn't take any chances. Orlaith has accomplished things we never expected. If she made her way to the Ivy Throne, or whatever waits behind that door, we need to find out. And free might. Yep, that's right. It's a uh, Khajiit. It's Akar, the Khajiit from Skyrim, and he's got a bow, but he is two-handed for solo gameplay mainly. So you can solo um, dungeons and world bosses alone with this guy. Sneak archery doesn't really work in an MMO though, so that's a bit sad. You just don't get that same gameplay like you get from Skyrim. Anyway, we're going to clear off and uh, help this lady find the ivory throne, I guess. Oh, look at this bridge. This is cool. Out of my way, fools. This is a cool location, man. Galen Pathfinder achievement unlocked. Just the lava in a jungle looks handy. very cool. Can I activate this or not? No. I thought it rotated like the other puzzles, but clearly not. I can hide in the rock. I am the, the rock. The hall remains closed, Archdruid. The seeds won't open the door. We've wasted enough time here. I must return to Ifalon. Use every druid we brought here and find the sower. The seeds must be regrown. I'll sit upon the ivy throne when I am crowned king. Oh, mate. Almost just ended the rebellion right there with that one arrow. The seeds. Gone. <sighs> so Close, but now out of reach. How convenient. Arch Druid understands nothing. The seeds cannot be commanded. They must be asked. Invited. I sense another song here. Very old. It calls to me. Another song? What do you mean? Oh, she's talking about the other Druid. Long ago. Mortal hands taught the stones of this place a song. A promise. A greeting. Not a song for mortals. A song for... 
Me. I must look upon the door in the hillside. You mean the door on the ivy fern, right? Yes. The sealed door that Laurel spoke of. The door... Alright, there must be a way inside. We get it. Let's go and have a look. It's not that I don't That's believe you, my dude. Heavy. I just didn't know what you meant by it. Like PvP specifically. I think you have to kill the lava fisherman. No, never. <laughs> the lava fisherman's way too suspicious, I'd Locked kill him as well. By ancient power. But the stones sing me the key. Find the three druid stones nearby and wake them, moral oh. friend. I knew that would be the, the Listen case. Listen to the song only I can hear. Yes, friend of Laurel. Powerful magic anchors. So she's just telling us to go and get the druid stones. Okay, cool. So one was down here. Here we are. Oh, is this not the stone we're meant to activate? There's one here. These stones look very similar to one another. Or is it up? It's up there. Whoa, hello. That's a lot of fire. Where is the stone? Oh, it's up here. Hello. I'm here for your stone, Jurids. Get back, you silly tree huggers. Kill him, Bastion. Well done. Jesus, where did you come from? Bastion, why can't you do anything? I need to activate the stone. Turn. Magic. One out of three. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. The stone awakens. The song grows louder. It does indeed. Taser! What's up, dude? Thank you so much for being a member for 45 months, bro. Oh my god. On a break, chat better, be behaving. Much love, bro. Thanks for stopping by. I know you're working today on the weekend, bro. Keep up the hard work. Woo! Okay, wow, look at that. This one's already on as well. Okay, so the last one is just over there, then. The last beacon of Gondor. Those Spriggan melee enemies are pretty cool. Activators stone us. Oh my goodness me. Oh, there's a there's um a sky shard here. Let's go and grab this. Taser, you have beat me by five months. You can never catch him either, because he's just, like, a devout battle brother. My god, how am I meant to get down there? Oh my god, parkour, yes. It always works. These bridges are very convenient. I'm a big fan of the landscape and environment in this area of the game. How do I get up this giant rock face? That's a giant log there. Can we actually go up there? No. Denied. Okay, so this is the other rock we need to reveal. Erect? Who's this guy? Fire Song Magnus? You're dead. Alright, let's activate this. Need to go back to the sealed door. I'm sure it does. Look at this magic. We don't have long. Hurry up and open it. There's a lot of enemies coming out of nowhere. Oh. 
Oh, there's a treasure chest. I want to watch this lady open the door first. Let us go inside, oh. friend of Laurel. Friend of Laurel. Oh my god, it's like speak the elvish word for friend to enter the minds of Moria. So many references in this uh, DLC. We had like Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings. What was the other one I noticed? I can't remember. Let's keep our eyes open for a tavern where we can spend that. This is not a tavern where we're going, my friend. It is very far from a tavern. Maybe these druid people make good mead though. Hello there. I have never been here, yet it feels familiar. These stones were told to remember King <laughs> Kasserain and to wait for me. Told you to wait for you? You mean that song you hear? Yes, the song is louder in here, more insistent. It wants to fulfill its purpose, like me, like the seeds. The song is from King Kasserain's season, but it is not from the Druid King. Not exactly. Do you remember the King? A little. His voice calling me from the green. The song of his magic. Strong and good. He gave me into the care of the weirds before my eyes ever opened to the light of this world. They tended me while I dreamed. Until the fire song woke me. So, yeah, ESO, next year is ESO's 10 year anniversary. Do you think they'll have ESO 2? You know, this is an interesting question because obviously the Elder Scrolls Online IP is huge. It's still got a, a very solid following, good player base. Uh, it's still obviously making DOS money and stuff. People are still buying the chapters every year. I wouldn't say it's like dying at all. I'd say it's doing pretty well as far as MMOs go. Um,. What does interest me though is the fact that Zos are making another MMO right now. I have no idea what the new MMO they're making is, but I would kind of expect it to be... Obviously now Microsoft own them. I don't know if they've been making this new MMO since before the Microsoft purchase, but that would surely mean that it must be on the Fallout IP, the Elder Scrolls IP, or the new Starfield IP. I kind of, it wouldn't surprise me that much for it to be like a space MMO, you know, like a new one. But I don't know what it would be. I don't think it would be Elder Scrolls 2 though, because I don't think this game's that old, you know. I don't think it needs that kind of update. I think they could already do like a graphical overhaul in terms of enhancing enough things, uh, like they did with the new console update, you know. So I don't think it's going to be ESO 2. But I am interested to, to see what they're working on. I hope it is like a new Bethesda-based IP one. That would be really cool. ESO Dragonborn, thank you for all your videos and help. We are all unstoppable. <laughs> I'm glad I could help you be unstoppable. They nerfed bullet explosion damage. I just noticed it yesterday. Oh, really? Thank you, Leta Taser. And after six years, we'll be close the servers and make ESO too. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's, that would make sense. They wouldn't invest all of that development money. It's so expensive to develop games these days into ESO2 when this game's absolutely fine. Taser, dude, thank you so much for the £10 donation. Okay, I'm off. Hopefully play together soon. I hope so too. We can do some veteran dungeons. Don't know if you're free later tonight or even uh, tomorrow as well. I think uh, tomorrow might be a bit busy anyway, but just let me know. Fire Song woke you. The Fire Song found my bower. They tore me from my slumber with words of binding, compulsion. I was young. I could not refuse. But Druid Laurel stopped them. They did not bind me. I can still choose. She brought me to Galen. Let me grow. ESO Studio Director said probably no ESO 2. So he said no to there being a second Elder Scrolls Online game. That makes sense, yeah. It doesn't surprise me. What do you think you'll be fine here? Understanding. I was summoned to quicken the seeds, crown, staff, and gauntlet. But I do not know why King Kasserine made them sleep. 
So how can I know when to wake them? We should explore. Learn. I will follow you. The All right, let's go. I feel in these old stones. It comes from somewhere ahead. I sense spirits called from the green. All right, let's just go and have a look at what we find in this place. There's a dead animal here. Uh, okay, it's a, it's a the song calls to me. Ooh. Touch the moat, Laurel friend. Welcome, sower of the dream. I am Avon, apprentice to the Druid King. King Kassarain bid me prepare for this day. Follow this passage mm -hmm. to the Ivy Throne. Ah, oh, the Ivy Throne does exist then. The Druid King's apprentice. He is the singer of the song. Just fall over. He will guide us. This is a very overgrown place. There's a giant poo heap. What's this? An urn with some shadow hide belt. These creatures were called to protect this place. They have grown wild. Fierce. Ah, some creatures. Taste our steel! Bastion doesn't care, he's like ready to kill anyone. What's up here then? Because uh, there's something. Can go this way. There's another urn with some ash in. Wow. Look at that, that's exciting. A hall within the hill. The court of the Druid King. Some other players. Ah, what's that? We're killed by a plant. It's clearer now. Above us, toward the rising sun. It's the sky. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, what is that? The forest great. Follow the passage. I'm going, I'm going. Don't you worry, Frey. Yeah, as long as people play ESO, they'll keep making the chapters. Makes sense. They make tons of money from it. I hope they also enjoy making them. I think they did a pretty good job on it. You know? The Ivy Throne. Careful, friend of Laurel. I sense a powerful guardian nearby. Well, this one. It's dead now. Underestimating you was their last mistake. Oh, mate, you love me. You furry lover. So this is the ivory frame. Can I sit on it? Let me in. I want to sit on the ivory frame. The song is strong here. Touch the moat and see what I see. Oh yeah, I am the captain now. This stone tablet records Kassarain's final dream. Dark betrayal followed by seeds of hope. We have punished the guilty, stricken their names. To heal we forget, but the sower must remember. Enter the garden. Come, friend of Laurel. The garden is this way. Of course it is, through the invisible door. Let's go. Why did the song lead me here? Touch the moat, Laurel friend. Let's see what happens. Money changer, you don't play anymore, you play speedrun. What do you mean? I mean, personally, I think... ESO isn't a game that you... Well, I guess you could skip the entire quest, but I wouldn't be streaming for three hours still playing the storyline if I was skipping it. Or is that not what you mean? I'm confused. I prepared a cauldron and planted three herbs in this garden. The sower knows the elixir of Ifre's thoughts. Mix, drink, and see what I saw the day the druid king died. I'm not drinking that. That looks I sus. I am sower, and I remember this elixir. Come talk with me, Laurel friend. If it made, if that elixir made me as slow-minded as you are, I'm concerned. 
The Elder foresaw this day, when I would be drawn to his song, and that I would not be alone. This elixir, it is the same as a potion the weirds used to commune with me while I slumbered. Ah. It connects the now to the then, the here to the there. So you know how to make it. Though I slumbered, I learned much from my time with the weirds. They would drink the elixir and commune with me, teach, talk, listen, gather herbs from each part of the garden. Have some mad psychedelic memories. What does it do? It will show us what the Elder wants us to see. We will become a dream, a memory, nice. and in that way, it's like skooma. we will remember. But it is you who must drink. Only a mortal vessel can understand a mortal memory. I will see too, through you. She's gonna poison us. I'll gather the herbs. Let's do it. Let's do a psychedelic trip together. Yep, death, death will bell. blossom. A taste lets you dream with your eyes open. Terrifying. Fox love root. Yeah, this is definitely a psychedelic Fox trip. A mere pinch weakens the boundary between now and then. Fawn's tongue, a potent ward against evil. Yeet. Oh, Good. magic. Something else is needed. Is it a snake? Of mine. My cat is not sus at all about us. Together, we will walk in Elder Avon's memories. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Still got the corpse. That's fine. Wow, that's pretty trippy. Oh, Elder sick. Avon, I need your help. Hey, look at me. I look like a badass. My, I love my arm pauldrons. Look at that. This guy has some trippy hat. He's like, all I see is roots. The day I hoped to avert is upon us. A hunger for power will destroy everything we hope to build here in the archipelago. Now druids slay druids, fighting over a throne like the very elves we left behind on the mainland. I must end this. Where am I? Has it been so long since you served as my apprentice, Avon? Have you forgotten the temple of Iphelon? Our misguided brothers and sisters defile this most hallowed place with their violence. Our misguided brothers and sisters. Followers of the All Wither among the Firesong Circle. While most of that circle serve the cycle of creation, those who revere the All Wither worship only death and decay. They seek to seize the Ivy Throne, to lead us into an age of unending darkness. Sorry guys, there was a knock at the door there. Oh, he just had a pizza that made me hungry. So how do we stop the followers of the All Wither? I must return my regalia. Crown, staff, and gauntlet to Ifray. The season of the Druid King must end for now. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, we need to make preparations so my dream comes to pass. Escort me to Elder Verlin in the ritual chamber. This ends today. Let's go. The ritual chamber lies to the south. Take the passage that leads up. Be on your guard, old friend. The followers of the All Wither are already inside the temple. We must return the regalia to Ifray before they stop us. 
How are you return it to her? From seeds were the crown, staff, and gauntlet called forth. To seeds we must return them. You have heard my dream, Avon. How the sower will one day awaken, once the schism that divides our people is finally mended. Your dream, the sower? Oh, we know this. You're sure you're all right, Avon? The dream <laughs> is my prophecy of two futures, one good, one bad. The sower is the key, a spirit I called from the green and left in the care of the weirds. Free. You must prepare the message for them, as we discussed. Who is Elder Valin? These troubled times confuse even me, my friend. <laughs> Verlin is my closest counselor, a loyal fire song, all too familiar with the threat posed by those sworn to the All Wither. He is in danger too, from those who call him a traitor to their cause. Can you tell me more about the followers of the All Wither? You need to know more than that they are here and desire our deaths. Ah, forgive me, I share your confusion. We did not guess how prevalent the All Withers' influence had become. Many powerful Fire Song druids have fallen under its dark influence. What is the All Wither? A difficult question. The Fire Song druids revere the great cycle of creation and destruction, death and rebirth. But those who give themselves to the All Wither see only half of this endless wheel. The dark half. Hmm. They must not gain the ivy throne. Oh Jesus Christ, you're always so intense and like up in my face. Mate, this is a blurry background. I am with you, Laurel friend. Okay. You are friend. Elder Avon. And there is Kin Kasserain. I remember him. Place is trippy like a dream. Like a Up here, dream. Avon. Elder Verlin wakes in the ritual chamber. Take Phoenix Moth. Oh, insect parts, cool. I don't make them like they used to. So is this the ritual chamber in here? The Druid oh. King is older. Careworn. Many seasons passed since he left me with the leaves. Indeed. Get wrecked, son. So the All Wither was the threat back then. So this is the shrine. Begin the ritual at once, Elder Verlin. Elder Avon, I require your assistance. If you're a certain, my king. Yet I wish there was another The way. Temple of Iphalon. I hear its song, even in this dream. Elder Verlin has the regalia, and will begin the ritual. I hope that when I laid down my authority, when I left the throne for the forest, the shadow over our people would have passed. Now I see that more is required. What do you need Will me you to do? Aid me, old friend. Remember everything you see, Avon. When the prophecy is fulfilled and a new king arises, the seeds must be brought here and blessed by the sower I spoke of in my dream. You must preserve this moment to instruct the sower. Now, go help Verlin. How do I help Elder Verlin? I mean, he just told us, didn't he? We need the light of the moons to shine upon the sacred pools in this chamber. Mara's tear and Shandar's sorrow must witness and sanctify our deeds this night. Elder Verlin can tell you what to do. Hey. I must prepare myself. Where are we going to get Mara's tears from? EHM Chris, thanks for the donation, dude. This man got me into the Witcher. Ah, oh, that is a, a good thing to hear. That is a great attestment. As you command, Druid King. 
I will help you do stuff. What is this? Oh, this is the staff. The great staff being turned I into a seed. I fear the druid king is making a mistake. Oh, well, no one These cares about you, sir. These symbols are gifts from Ifre. For centuries, our kings have worn them with wisdom and mercy. I begged Kasserain not to take them from those who come after us. But he insists. The druid king said I should help you complete the ritual. If we must do this, then yes, we need the light of Mara's tear and Shandar's sorrow. Blimey. On each side of the balcony stands a druid stone. Turn them both to face the sacred pool. That will call the light of the moons to sanctify this place. Alright. Oh yeah, this is the gauntlet. Dude, these gauntlets look sick. Do I get these after finishing the quest? And that is the crown, which also looks pretty cool, even though you can't see out of it. Which might be problematic. Okay, so we're going to turn the first statue here. Magic. Nothing has happened. Hear us. Ooh. Return crown, staff, and gauntlet to the seeds from whence they came. Magic. There we go. Final stone. This is folly, Kasserain. You leave me no choice. All with her, guide my blade. Ah! Betrayed! Why, Verlene? Be gone! I banish you! Damn, he's got yeeted. I don't even know where he went. Just deleted him. Mate, it's like the Deathly Hallows. It's the staff. All the little items and stuff. That's cool. And then being turned into seeds. So it was a success. The followers of the All Wither. More insidious than I thought. The poison blade and the hand of a trusted friend. Classic. Classic Zoss. This proves I was right. Crown, staff, gauntlet. They must return to the green. You must help me, Avon. I mean, you can't go wrong there, D-Day. What can I do, my king? Gather the sacred seeds. Help me summon Erdir the Guardian. A powerful ally for the sower. A protector to ensure that only a worthy king regrows the seeds. Then... I'm listening. Give one seed to each druid circle to guard, to keep. Oak to Elder Tide. Rowan to Stone Law. Ash for the fire song untainted by the all wither i'll take the seeds and live them to the circles go to the ivy throne seal it no one must enter until the sower awakens thank you my old friend take the seeds go to the center of the chamber touch the Mote of Light. How do I summon Udir the Garden? Garden. Touch the Mote to begin the summoning. I will do the rest. Her dear is a spirit from the green. It will protect this place until a new druid king arises. Her dear will keep its vigil until the sower decides the season of the seeds has come again. What of Veriline and the servants of the Allwither? That task I leave in your hands. Oh great, thanks. Rally the circles against those who follow the Allwither. Defeat them. Bind them in the mountain. Then... Let them be forgotten. There can be no healing while druids seek power and harm one another. That's true. Give me all the seeds. I will take them all, all the dragon balls. And together. Now, 
take your place. Touch the moat, and I will summon Erdir the Guardian. It's pretty damn cool. Let's go. Summon away. Wait. Oh. Imagine just falls into the lava and everything is lost. Farewell, friend. This temple becomes my tomb. Deliver the seeds and seal the ivy throne. Yeah, that's sick. So now we have to go in and kill Erda the Guardian. He only has 15,000 health. <laughs> and then we get to claim the summoning pool to do the ritual. We just need the seats. I was going to share my pizza with you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. A common problem, my friend. Why have I come out here... What use is this to me? I need to go all the way around here. Not even anywhere near there. How we make this jump? That's the real question. Oh boy. No. There was never a hope in hell, was there? Right, we need to go and talk to Free. It's always given you know, I think I actually messed up. I shouldn't have, like... Couldn't I have just spoken to her? She was standing right next to me. Hopefully she spawns at the door when I go through it. Otherwise that would be annoying. No remorse! No remorse. My favourite line. Come on, come at me. Very effective. I am almost impressed. Finish him. Alright, let's get back inside. How many hours are there in the game without DLC? God, so many. I don't know, like, usually each sort of... Like, the main story of the... The zone that this particular quest... Oh, for God's sake, she's all... Oh, my God, this sucks. Just because I didn't talk to her in that last room, so now I have to run all the way back to the dungeon just to do that. Come and Great. take us! Why is that guy dancing like a leprechaun? Yeah, I mean, just the main story of this particular chapter um, that is about six hours altogether. Or actually, it's more like 12 hours because the chapter has two parts. And then you have all the overland content, which is probably like that again almost. And all the quests, depending if you actually listen to them or skip through them. So, yeah, and then you've got dungeons as well. So there's a lot of content in the chapter alone. But just the base game, uh, I mean, damn, there's so, so many hours worth of content. I don't know if I can put a number on it, though. To think we could have just run through that whole dungeon. Let's go back through here to the Druid King's Garden. Okay, here Come she is. To the now. Come, let us speak of what we saw. And now the quest marker appears above her head. That's Dream. helpful. Dream. Memory. I walked with Elder Avon just as you did. I saw the one who called me from the green. Kasserain, the Druid King. I understand much more now. Was not Urdir the Guardian wonderful? The spirit Urdir Ivan summoned, I guess so. <laughs> She's like impressed. Wild and fierce. A spirit called from the green, like I was. It is bound to protect crown, staff, and gauntlet. The fire song risk much to awaken its anger. Do you think Urdir the Guardian's still there? Urdir waits. As I did, the fire song must return the seeds to the place we saw in the then, the temple of Iphelon. I know how to call Erdir, a song of defense. It is my choice. Archdruid and Orlef know about you. 
Does she know about the Guardian? Perhaps. She may think she can bind Erdir, command it with crown, staff, and gauntlet, but King Kasserain told some spirits to make their own choices. I am one, Erdir is another. We should find Druid Laurel. She will know what to do next. Well, we gotta get further and find this chamber in the seeds, right? Let's find the Druid Laurel first, though. Druid Laurel studies the old lore, young yet wise. We must tell her what we learned from the Elder's memory. Let us try this passage. I sense gentle wind and open sky beyond. Oh, trust me, there's definitely wind out there. You said you have a choice. What do you mean? Well, she gets to choose the next Druid King, is what she means. Spirits are bound to purpose. We do not change. But the purpose King Kasserain gave me was to make a choice for him. He could not know how to make the choice, so he did not bind me. What I can choice did he want you to make? Worthy. I am the sower, but I can choose when to quicken the seeds, and for whom. Why did they turn against the Druid King? We saw the same memory. The choices that led the Druid King and Elder of Erlene to the temple are forgotten now. But I know the Allwither. It is of the green, yet it hates what it is. It hungers for what it is not. If the fire's not betrayed him, why give them one of the sacred seeds? Well, obviously, so everyone had an equal chance. Some betrayed. Not all. Only those in the grip of the Allwither. Those are the ones that were stricken, forgotten. The rest were forgiven. I think. So I guess we can find this temple next. Okay, this time I'm going to make it to the water for the first time ever. Oh god. Oh, we've done it, boys. We've done it! Oh my god, actual surviving the full damage. Didn't think it could be done. Didn't think it was possible. There's this giant crab. What's happening? Oh wait, and they both turn on me. Oh no, they're continuing to fight each other. I kind of just want to leave them at it, to be honest with you. May the best crab creature win. Fire song druids. Dead. Laurel's staff. Where is Laurel? Take the staff, Laurel friend. She would not leave it unattended. I understand the pattern of what occurred. Druid Laurel was scouting. Okay, detective. Came upon these fire song druids. They fought. She was overpowered. Taken away. The leaves tremble for her. So do I. We need to find her. Where does this DLC take place? On the Sistress Islands? On the uh, west of Tamriel in the archipelago? Is, the, uh, is this the official Elder Scrolls Online YouTube? No, this is a fan-made channel. Pretty sure I've seen you here, though, before, dude. Pretty sure you already know that. I'm not um, officially associated with them. I just have the same name as the game. We need to find Druid Laurel. I no longer sense Druid Laurel nearby. If the Fire Song took her, they would go to Arch Druid Orlaith, to Iphalon. A ploy, I think, to what capture me. What do you think me. we should do? I would like to see the City of Stone. Find Mokhaf. Laurel friend Stefan. He can help us. Laurel trusts him, likes him. I will meet you in Vestir, Laurel friend. All right. I didn't think this lady would be such a main character in this plot, but it makes a lot of sense that she is based on the story. You must now go back to the city. And we're just going to fast travel there, I think is the best thing to do. This is the first time I've actually commented this. Oh, in that case, you just have the exact same profile picture as someone else. Sure, I've seen you that before. It just crumbled, and with all those people inside, why would the divines allow such a thing to happen? Please, I'm looking for Dame Feda. She was with the knights protecting the cathedral oh, she just dead. during the attack. We're still sorting this all out. 
Indeed, indeed. That will be another ah, stream Dulef, tomorrow. Our friend returns. But where are Laurel and Free? Stay your weapons. I bear a message from Archdruid Orlaith. Very well then. Speak. Bring the sower to the Temple of Iphalon. If you refuse, Orlaith will complete the prophecy with the blood of her prisoners. You wouldn't dare. Archdruid Orlaith will not be denied. Don't make her wait long. Gather round. We have much to discuss. Why Damn Orlaith like that? and her fire song. They took townsfolk prisoner before they fled, but we weren't sure why. Now we know. She plans to use them as sacrifices. Damn her eyes. Wait, where are Laurel and Free? Didn't you bring them back with you? The fire song captured Jorah Laurel, and they took Euphlen. Laurel captured? Is there no end to this outrage? Our own forces are still recovering from the siege of Vastir, but even at full strength, we'd be hard pressed to assault the fire song on their island. What of Free? Did the spirit return with you? Free is waiting for the Druid district. We saw a vision of the last Druid King's death in Ivyhain. Visions and prophecies, that's what started this chaos. If Orlaith can't get the sower, she'll use the blood of Laurel and my people to make herself the Druid King. Tell me you found something. Give me a reason to hope. I am in sore need of it. There's a powerful guardian on Yul Yuflen. Free believes it can turn it against the fire song. A guardian? You bring mixed tidings, friend. <laughs> I can't bear the thought of Laurel and Fire Song hands, but if Free can help us defeat Archdruid Orlaith, I'll swear my house and life to the cause. Thank you. Perhaps we're not helpless after all. Oh yeah, and look some cards or something. Ivy clad shoulder pads. Healing yourself from Ally Grant's target make yeah, cool. The Fire Song took captives during the attack on Vastir. And they have Druid Laurel. I must protect my people, but I can't trade one life for another, even many others. Unless... Unless... Yes, we give Archdruid Orlaith exactly what she demanded. You want to turn Free over to her? Free is our secret weapon. Dulef will take Free to the Temple of Iphalon, just as Archdruid Orlaith demanded. Then, while Free stalls her with this guardian you told me about, you and I rescue the captives from the Fire Song, including Laurel. I like this plan, Basil Brother. How do we do that? We land on the far side of the island with my knights and free my people while Orlaith conducts her ritual. I'll arrange passage to Iphalon, find Free and get them to agree to the plan, then meet me at the docks. You'll be well rewarded, friend. Battle, brother. I will find Free in the Vine District and do so. Dulif will take Free to a House Monard Galleon. He'll escort them to Iphalon and protect them while we rescue Druid Laurel and the others. As for our transportation, we need different arrangements. I'll meet you at the docks soon. What happens if Free refuses to go along? Then we still attempt to rescue the captives from Archdruid Orlaith. If Free isn't willing to help, I won't try to force them. We'll do our best without the distraction Free would provide. And if we're not sailing with Du Dalef and Free, how do we get to Yiflon? I plan to hire Captain Siravain's ship. The Mad Maiden is anchored just outside Vastir's walls. Makes she sense. She has no love for the Fire Song Druids. Her ship and crew are battle tested. They'll be perfect for what we need to do. I don't think you'll need to convince her, but yeah. Captain Siravain strikes me as someone who pays her debts. Without your help, her ship and crew would still be in the Dreadsail's hands, and Sea Lord Nalos would be alive. I might remind her of that. And my generous offer of gold should also help. Well, gold always helps. That's true. Very true indeed, Battle Brother. So we've got to let Free know about our plans. Lego. Did you know you can wear your undies for four days straight? I reckon you can do it for five. Like, what happens after five days? You just implode? She's over here in the city. Let me out! This one rock is really impossible for me to get past. Yum. Fastest scout in the universe.
I mean, why not six days? Hello there. Look, the green has not forsaken this place of stone. There are flowers, insects, life. Indeed. Laurel friend, I have been thinking, how can we help Druid Laurel? We have a plan. I, I have grown much since my awakening. Blossomed, made friends. Druid Laurel is my friend. What can I do to help? Arch Druid Orlath demands. Well, he said that he wasn't going to tell her she had to, but demands we send you to her so you can kill, or she'll kill Druid Laurel and the other captives. Others would come to harm? Because of me? Man, no. gaslighting. That is not my purpose. That is wrong. But the Arch Druid needs me to grow the seeds, to reforge the regalia. To make her the Druid King, that is wrong too. So, you have a choice to make. Will you do an evil vampire play for in Skyrim? Yeah, 100%. I don't know when though. But I was talking about it earlier. That and the Mage's Guild was requested. We don't want you to do that, just stall her. We'll rescue the captives, then come to get you. Ah. Understanding cuts like the sun through clouds. Deception. <laughs> Archdruid yes. Orlaith will try to compel me, force me to do as she wants, not as King Kasserine intended. But Erdir, the Guardian, is there. They will help me. So I will help you. Dalef is coming to take you to a ship. Go with him. The rest of us will take a different vessel. I will go with friend Dulef. Give myself to Archdruid Orlaith. Then... I will wake Erdir the Guardian. Call them to fulfill their ancient duty. Please, find Druid Laurel. Save her. Too much blood has watered these lands already. Thank you. Sir Stefan and I will find you on Yeflon. I am not the same free who emerged from the bower. I will not be easily bound by the Firesong or their Arch Druid. Not again. Can you still sense the seeds? Yes. They are together, but distant. Far away, at the Temple of Iphelon. They stir, become restless. Soon they must grow. Sing. Can't you just choose not to regrow them? I mean, we know that she can't really choose them. It's the season they must be grown. Perhaps. Perhaps not. For good or ill, the season of their awakening draws close. And if Archdruid or Lath hurts others to compel me, I do not want to see blood spilled because of me. Tell me about Erdir the Guardian. Erdir, the spirit we saw in the vision, their purpose is to protect the seeds, the temple, perhaps even me. When the moment comes, I think I can wake the Guardian. Be awkward if she can't. Will that be enough to stop the Archdruid? I do not know. YOLO. Let's go. We'll see how it plays out. Talk to Sir Stefan Mornard. Okay. Let's do that next. Hello, Free. From one you to ready to go to Iphalon with me? Yes, friend Dulef. I am ready. Ten out of ten conversation. Um, from one to ten, is it worth getting back into ESO these days? Um, I mean, it depends, right? Like if you were into it before it's like the same kind of thing there's like a loads of big storylines to play through and i play it casually every year in that sense um i feel like once i've got like my gear and sets um and i might dapple in pvp a bit and do some of the end game raids and dungeons and after i've got that like final game set and i've like upgraded it i'm like hey cool that's done and then i'm just like yeah i'll see you next year when there's like new content to play through um and yeah i mean there's there's so much stuff added to the game every year more stuff than i ever have time to like come and play like that was the first part of this year's zone and i only did the main quest and that was it pretty much didn't really do any of the side quests apart from one follower one um and then obviously we're only doing the main quest uh, the main quest in this zone 
Um, and already we've uncovered this part of the map, done a few sky shards, and, and that's it again. We haven't done any side quests in this area. So I would definitely say that there's uh, you get like value for money and content. I just never have enough time to like actually finish it. But every year I come back and play through the DLC and I'll play through Necron when that releases um, in June. It's in June, yeah. So, yeah, that or Diablo I might play for it. Depends, really, what I feel like. But Necron's looking good. It's got Homerus Mora in, which is called Daedric Prince and Storyline in Morrowind. So, looking forward to that. But, yeah, I think it, it really depends where you're at. Like, I find it just pulls you back in every year, but I also kind of, like, peter out and burn out of the game a bit. It's weird. It's weird. Like, it's not like Skyrim in that sense. It's, like, very different to that. So I play it for, like, different reasons, I guess. What is going on up there? There's a dude summoning crap on a house. But I think we will end today's stream here, and I will see you guys again tomorrow, and we'll do, like, the rest of the whole storyline. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of Elder Scrolls Online. If you think it's worth jumping back in for 2023 um, with a new chapter coming out. I think I always really play more as a casual player, you know. I think that's what the Elder Scrolls Online kind of caters to is like that storyline content, the good voice acting. Um, and that's what it does really well. It's a hard question to answer though. It really depends like why you play an MMO. And if you've got friends playing it and they're going to play PvP with you or jump into the dungeons with you, I'd say it's like way more enjoyable as well. But I will link the next episode down below. You also get like pushed over to it when this stream ends. So you can just stick around and then just press notify me for tomorrow's stream. Should be about 5pm GMT tomorrow. So I'll see you guys there. But thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the likes and support and the chat and the video and keeping me company. Hope you guys enjoyed the start of this story. We will finish it off tomorrow. I feel like it's just starting to reach the point now where it's getting, you know, coming to completion. Probably like another couple of hours I would have thought tomorrow to like really finish it off. Um, but I'm excited to see what the conclusion is, to be honest, because I found the second part of the storyline for the first time is actually better than the first part for sure. This has been a lot more compelling of a storyline to me, even though I'm pretty sure I know who the bad guys are and who the traitors are without spoiling anything if you didn't watch the rest of the stream. But um, yeah, excited to see out if I was right or not. I mean, we call, I feel like we've been calling that since last year when we played through High Isles. And I feel like there's always kind of like the same trends in the storyline of like, there's going to be a traitor, but you'll think he's your friend. I kind of like that, you know, because it's kind of like guess who each time I'm playing. Elik, thank you so much for the donation. I hope I've pronounced your name correctly. A thousand apologies if I haven't. Thanks for doing a stream. I really enjoy do doing them. I just like to have like a purpose to stream each time. I think even after we do the storyline, I might come on and do some like tanking streams as well. This lady out here in the sand. You look very lost. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next stream. Farewell.